somewhere. There you go. Oh, it's east of where we're, where they're at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is there anything that we kind of need for? I was wondering if there was anything you guys wanted to pick up. I yeah. Was, I think some of the problem is we just don't know what we. What you're well, we have need yet. we had yeah. rations for this whole trip to Oakhurst. Which oh that took one day right? Mm-hmm. So took off one day of rations. Okay. So one day ration. Oh my god, the soup! It is so delicious. I know, right? I'll post this on on YouTube. Look at our li- look at my friend's lights in her in her dining room while we play D and D and listen to us talk about. <laughs> it's a mm-hmm. cheap podcast. <laughs> Actually, that looks like that would be a really cool picture kind of background right. on your screen. Can you give me a um, napkin? No, but I can hang your towel. I am just a swear to God. There, now it's more centered. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> we'll call it Dungeons and Dragons with kids in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Life. We'll just call it the game of life. <laughs> ah, yes. We're trying to keep from losing our mind. Life choices. Life choices and their questions that we have that we have with them. So, so I think I'm. Uh, my character is going to go to another local pub. What? And gain information of what About are what? the best brews they have on tap. Baron, goddammit, you need to find us supplies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm in the market then, right? Yeah. Okay. I head to the market. Okay. So Baron's well, there's, there's an inn called the Old Bear Inn, which does have a tavern or a bar. We'll go there together. Okay. So go we'll together. See if we can afford to sleep there. Okay. You start making your way to the inn. You're. I'm gonna go out to the. Um. A local farmer. Find a local farmer. Um, maybe there might be some in the inn. Drinking. So would you rather spend time with... Um... Baron and... I don't remember Uro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't... I'm looking at me to remind him and I'm like... I don't Chelsea remember. and Barry. We'll just call him Chelsea and Barry. <laughs> Luthiana. <laughs> Luthien. 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 <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We're so heading to what is the name of that inn? The Old Boar Inn. Bear. Old Boar Inn. Bear. Boar. You said bear. Boar. You straight up said bear. The Old Boar Inn. Oh, it's a mining town. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's a boar inn? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, it's like a boar. It's like yeah. the end of a war. Okay. So, I will go find farmers. Are you going with them in the tavern? No, I'm going to go out and about and ask around, like, hey, who's a local farmer? Why am I talking to farmers again? You're looking for... I don't remember. Information about the, the Sunless Citadel? <gasps> oh! Tooth hole! Tooth hole! Two tooth holes. That, that is so cool. I told him... I tell and let's knock so out some more. No. no, run, Sammy. <laughs> All right. So what was I looking for? So I will let you know that most of most of the farmers I you're going to end up looking for are going to be on the outskirts of town. Okay. Because that's an ordeal then. Yeah. You might find you might have a better chance of speaking to them at night after they're done doing their day's works and coming in to. I think that would be a good idea. So why don't we? Why don't I go to the market and gather up some supplies while you guys go to the inn and negotiate for room? Okay. Cool. Okay. So, and you're going to go to the market with James. No. <laughs> Anybody seen James? He's invisible today. He died. Dick. He died. We ate him. <laughs> we ate him. I have his teeth. <laughs> Stay out of my room. And what is your character's name again? It's... Bathus, B-A-Y-T-H-A-S. I don't hear screams. T H A S. Bathas. Bathas. Bathas.
What kind of supplies are we looking for, people? Do we need water skins? We have bed rolls, right? We have all yes. all that stuff. I don't think I I don't think I actually need anything. I might need some rations. So we're looking for info about going east, correct? Correct. So we don't really know how far it's going to be. So we need to find out from people like, hey, have you you heard right. about this place? How far is it? Right, right. Good question. I can probably find out something at the market too, maybe. Markets. People talk at markets. <laughs> Me, 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 me. <laughs> Just make sure to haggle. They really like to haggle. I don't know if anyone's going to sell to me. They seem to be scared of me here, but... That's what James is going with you. He'll just steal it. No. There we go. So. No, we're not stealing. That is wrong. <laughs> All right, fine. So he's tagging along. He's going to uh, basically just follow you. Yes. One forty-three. There we go. One forty-three. Equipment. Do we all have backpacks or sacks? I have a pack. Sacks. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody else feel like the squealing from that toy is gonna hurt their brain? Yep. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to say go the fuck downstairs. They do have it downstairs. Oh! How delightful. We'll give them a few more minutes and then I'll go um, seize it. <clears throat> Those are the backgrounds. I don't care about the Chelsea, backgrounds. Chelsea, I have a wiggly tooth. Cool, man. Right here. Congratulations. That's awesome. It hasn't fallen out yet. What? Do you want me to pull it out? No! Well, some... it's glued in, isn't it? Also, onto the braces. We can get some pliers. Uh -uh. I can snip the. I can snip that wire. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. All right, guys, go play. Are you guys hungry? The soup is really delicious. Yeah. River, do you want to try? You want to try some? No, they ate soup. She gets. You have to have something more substantial than pretzels for lunch. Yep. It is the law. Close the fridge. Don't you dare Don't, touch uh -uh. my bread. Get hey, your own piece of bread, Mr. Allen. Mr. Allen. You I'm, can have a cheese on the counter. I'm going to smack you with the bread. Get your own bread. Okay. He did get his own bread. You know what? Go get more bread. Take more um, bread like that. Taking a woman's bread. Oh, hell no. What are you thinking you're doing? You Overreacting? Mm -hmm. Pain James? in my ass? Mm -hmm. Can I have milk? to the market. Okay? No, you already had milk this morning. Go on. How about Go, 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 yeah, go, go, go. There's a glass of water right there on the counter. Baron no. and Luthien. Look, Luthien. Look where I'm pointing. The glass over there by the bowl. Alright, we go to the bar. Baron, we go to the bar. It's, you know, old bore in. It's a human, you know, I'm regular human guy working at the bar. Um, name's Garen. He's trying to clean up the bar, clean some glasses and so forth while keeping an eye on them. On the pa on the few patrons that are still here. And it's what time of day are we thinking? We're probably thinking, because you guys slept the night here, right? At the old bore in or a... We haven't no, slept at... We haven't slept at all. We're exhausted. We haven't slept in Oakhurst yet. We pulled into Oakhurst. We talked to the no, merchant. We did, we so did it, it's probably around somewhere. midday. Mm -hmm. Where was that that we slept? Yeah. Never winter? Yeah. No, you guys did crash there. Yeah. Mm, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. So, I think it's about midday then for you guys. Okay. But still, there's not going to be a whole lot of people in the in the tavern, except people who are just drinking and having their lunches and so forth. But it's not nearly as crowded as it will be at night. Mm -hmm. He, like I said, he's there cleaning his glasses, cleaning his bar, a couple of um, bar wenches, tavern, um, barmaids, barmaids. Thank you. They're running around serving the people. If they're not doing anything, they're just kind of clustered up near the bar, talking back and forth. Okay. So I'll leave that to you two. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we're tired. We're, we, we stroll in to the bar. We're kind of survey around as we're walking up to the bar, Keith, and we say, uh, Hey there, barkeep. Uh, how are you? How are you? My name is uh, 
Baron Stronghammer Dank. You do cheese too. You don't get and to eat your pretzels. This is my associate, the great and lovely bard, Uthian. Such a nerd. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do here, Luthien? I want to know uh, how, how much for rooms we're tired. <laughs> and food. Okay. Well. Rooms. Tired. Foods. He looks at the door to you. Back to the door. Back to you. Well, I have rooms available for tonight. Oh, um, Depends on what kind of rooms you're looking for. I don't have any dwarven rooms, but I guess a big bed wouldn't bother you any anyways. Nope. <laughs> you got a closet? <laughs> well, Are you I'd rather out? not put you in the closet. <laughs> no going in. I mean, I don't think you're that short. <laughs> oh my god. Huh? Oh my god. It's Iron Spider. It's Iron Spider? Yeah. This is the Iron Spider costume. This is the Iron Spider mask. Is Iron Spider the new Spider-Man? No, Iron Spider is from... The Iron Spider is from Infinity War. Okay, Sam, we're trying to play a game. Thank you. I was genuinely curious. We got modest... We got some modest rooms that. here. We're looking... Let's do about five, five silver per, per room. Huh. We also have some four one. We also have um. I have some on the on the first floor near the back alley. Hmm. I don't want to sleep on, on the, the first, first floor of the back alley. I want to sleep. You see, but he kind of just stumbles over the word like eh. <laughs> five silver per night. Yeah, for the good rooms. One room for me. I'm gonna sleep in the back alley. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> and we have two other friends that are also with us. Uh, I think they'll just share one room. <laughs> All right. Well, when they come in, I'll let them know what the room. Way to screw over your companion. <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> he's not even here. He takes a silver from you. All right. He takes five silver from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tika, Tika, oh yeah, right now. He snaps at her, and she looks at him and goes, God, "I need you to take these, take these fine customers to our, our fine guests to the room." And he goes, "Get this. The dwarf wants one of those rooms out back." Mm -hmm. And she looked at him. She goes, "That okay. sounds so unsavory. I love it." <laughs> mm -hmm. He's cheap. And, says, and then you can get the bard. We got rooms upstairs. Um, the one on the third floor, we just finished it. So I know which one. So she goes back. She comes out with a couple of keys. Follow me, please. And she leads. <laughs> since you're on the first floor already, she leads you back to a couple. There's like three or four rooms out in the back of this behind the kitchen. They're rooms. And they've got haystack. They've got haystack beds. Pillows, mm, a couple bugs. of older worn blankets, yeah. and there's a chest. There is a chest. It's an empty chest. You can put your stuff in. Ah, she hands nice. you a key. Okay. Okay. Not much in regards to anything else. You know, we got one way in and one out. It's just a door or any windows or anything. There's candles to help light your way if you need to. It goes. Enjoy your stay. Are you done? She goes, Miss Luthien. Miss Luthien, please follow me. And she ends up taking you to the third floor. The place is only about three floors high, so it's one of the topper floors. And she takes you to a door. It's well painted and everything. She opens it up, and you've got a good size bed. It's probably about the size. Beer? Yes. Yeah. Sure. What do you guys want? Aye. Poverty beer. <laughs> you want a poverty beer or a yeah. Nah, I just want something lighter. Um, night all? The room is. Yeah. The room is. It's. A nice clean room. It's got some newer blankets on it, pill pillows. Um, you go to touch the bed. It's not a haystack. It's probably feather filled or something. Um, there's a wash bin, uh, a pitcher full of cold water. I mean, it's it is a modest room, mm -hmm. so it's, it will be nice and comfortable for you. There's even a window out to the main street. Cool. And she hands you the key, and she goes. We expect we expect you to vacate the premises 
by noon tomorrow, unless you want to stay another night. Yeah. Okie dokie. Which is, all you have to do is let us know. Okay. Just you, can you, oh, well, she did. <laughs> she can be in as long as she's not bothering you guys. Come on. She'll probably chill she's out. She's settled down a bit more. Come on. Where's your bottle? Bear, bear, open up that nope. first drawer there. It should be a bear paw. Oh, that's adorable. Are you guys going to stay in your respective rooms? Yeah, we're going to go. I'm going to sleep. My character is tired. It's time for rave. <laughs> no, I'm heading back to the bar. Luthien is exhausted I, I from all the bar. I put some of my gear in the. Uh, oh, what are you taking I, down to the bar with you? I tell your Bear. Weapons, or you just um, basically remove, leave your weapons up there in your armor? I'm going to just have my hand axe with me still. Hanging from your belt or something? Yeah, hanging from my belt. And all right. I, I say to you, uh, uh, check other. out the. I'm going to sleep tonight, but and you, you, have my, while my you're drinking. With me. Take take a look at the audience potential, and if we want to stay longer, then I can I can barb for more room. Yeah. So, um, you head off into the market with James. Yeah, yes. with James. Trying to pick Jupiter, her up stop! <laughs> you, head, you head off to the market. Um, what exactly are you looking for? Um, mostly listening. Maybe some extra dried meats. You know, dried. Veg, if such things exist. Extra rations, that type of thing? Yeah, extra rations, things that actually look like food, too. Like jerky, dried meats, um, hard, well, hard breads. Your rations that you typically find will have some cheese. I mean, it would be harder, like a bread that travels well, dried meats, dried fruit. Oh, it's not like, like, like. It's not in it. It's not like something you. It's not an MRE or anything. Okay, okay, cool. Um. For just useful bits and bobs and foods and mostly information, you know. People go to markets and everybody talks. No, we don't. No. Yeah, you're listening. Yeah. So. But I'm like, how tall am I? I'm like six foot seven, and I'm a dragon person. So pe well, you I wonder. Get a lot of people that are watching you. I yeah. Mean, you're not something they see all the time. But I'm not making an ass of myself. <laughs> no, you're just doing your thing. A respectable. How many rations are you actually looking for? Um, how much are they? A piece? Are they in the player's handbook? They are in there. There's about five silver. Five silver? That might change depending on later on in the game if I get more comfortable with it. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's one gold. One, two, uh, ten silver makes one gold. Oh my god. Five G ten silver equal to I need two days worth for four people. Four gold. Four gold. Okay. Four G. Do we all have water skins? Uh, yeah. It would be good to have on hand. Preferably not full of beer, Baron. No. I have a tanker. <laughs> Looks like I don't have one. What's big as a water skin? Water skin. Federal. It's a tanker. bottle of wine in it. Roll perception. Perception. Global perception. Roll a d20. I'm trying to look at them. Okay, I can't see. The one that looks like a ball. I got a 15. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Perception. Please let me look. There it is. <laughs> it's plus three. So you got an 18. Yes. All right. Oh um, my god, you better dog sounds. <laughs> So, as you're sitting listening, you, you hear two people talking. He says, How do you, what do you think they're going to do this year? I don't I don't know. What do you mean? He says, the apple. And the apple again. I forgot about the apple. He says, I don't know. They've given, I mean, the ones, the ones we've made money off of, we've made, some, we've made some pretty good gold for the farm, for this area here. I mean, it, it's helped. I know, but are we going to, which, which color do you think we're going to get? 
going to be green this year. Could be green. <laughs> um, do you know? Do you know? I could probably get one of these because. We, no, when we sell the apple, we, we don't cut it up. We give the apple to the person we sell it to. Mm. And so they're talking about, they're talking about, and you, you're talking about this apple. The community says that they typically get it from goblins. Goblins. Mm -hmm. The goblins are selling, apparently selling this apple to the towns to the townsfolk. The giants get from goblins. Roll another perception check. Two. Okay. Thirteen plus three. Okay. Yeah. You know it's James gone. James is gone. God damn it, James. James wandered off someplace. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm, I'm a large dragon man in the middle of the market. <laughs> He's Alone. wandered off. Everybody's attention is on you. So <laughs> if you ask around where James was, they're paying attention to you, not James. And James knows this. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Okay. Okay. Are you talking to the barkeep while you're drinking? Yes, definitely. I'm talking to the barkeep when he's uh, around, and uh, I think I'm also trying to bring up conversation with uh, anybody else who might be around me as well. Just being. Is there anything specifically that you ask the barkeep? Per se. So, uh, barkeep, we're in we're in town here. We're a couple of little band of adventurers, and uh, we've been uh, talking to with uh, Miss uh, Carwin Herkel there. Uh, do you know anything about uh, her uh, her children going missing? Her her adult children? Oh, they just took off about a month ago. They were supposed to go to some ruins. That's what I've heard, anyways. And mm -hmm. yeah. No one's ever seen seen anybody yet. Yeah. Have you ever heard anything about these ruins before? Anything about them? There was a guy a few years back asked about the ruins. And he was... Then he was curious about... About Talgan and Sharwin. It was a really weird, really weird fellow. He had a big pet frog with him. And he was asking about it. That was a few years ago. And he wanted to know about these ruins. And all I could tell him then was it's east of here. I'd never actually been there. I mean, my home is here. This is where my this is where my love is. Mm, Not much yes, of an it's, a it's a fine bar, yeah. You know, tavern you have here, yeah. I could see how you'd ever want to leave this place. Yeah. Mm. He comes back with a dark with a dark ale, call it um iron roots. He says, This is kind of expensive stuff, but I fig I figure, you know, you could you could probably you could probably stomach better than most of the farmers around here. Mm. I and imagine so I can. It'll be about, be about three gold pieces for the goblet. Um, he goes on to say that Old he problem, gets, huh? yeah, <laughs> like, well, like, well, um, Tinker, excuse me. Yeah. And he says, it's dwarven make from some of the dwarves up in the mountains not far from here. I get, I get a cask once a year and it sits in my basement most of the time. When I first started getting it, um, I really only sold it to dwarven, the only ones that seemed to like it, like people of your staff. Excuse me. So. Okay. And it's, it's. It's good and strong, so I mean it's really tasty. But three gold, huh? No, three silver. Oh, three silver. Oh, okay. She said gold, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm thinking about your. I'm thinking about two different things right now. It's all yeah, good. No problem. So I've I've ran out of silver. Can if I you toss them a gold that's equal to ten silver? Okay. So if you end up yeah, drinking I'll... a couple of them, that'll it'll yeah, rack so up. So I right. toss. I'll toss them a gold and. Tell me, keep it coming. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what was that guy's name? Ballad? Oh, it's stuck in your something butt. Something like that? Ballad? Ba Balak? Ballad? Ballad? Something like that. It's been, it's been a few years, but he went off to that, he went off to that, 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 those ruins off to the east. I know that for sure. He was really interested about it. I should be. So Balak went to go see the ruins. That was a couple years ago, though. Yeah. Right? No, no, it was it was a little bit. I have to say it was longer than that. But he's the only one that's ever asked about 
ask about Hercules' kids. Hmm. Okay. Is anybody so? But nobody's nobody's seen Balak in the last few years. He ain't ever been back here. Hmm. You are such a ham. Does anybody uh? Do you know if he was in town with anybody else? When he was staying at my inn, he was by himself. Hmm. So if he met somebody, if he had somebody else staying someplace else, I don't think so. I mean, the old Boar Inn is probably. That's the only real reputable establishment here, as far as it ends. I and mean, you could probably find rooms with some of the, some other shop owners and so forth. But no, if you're looking for, if you're looking for a room to stay, it's going to be here. Oh, okay. Um. Does it seem like I, I he's t- telling the truth? Nice. Right, sure. and... Clean his glass, you know. Okay. I mean, you know, like, you've been to a bar. Bartenders like to talk if there isn't a whole lot going on. Yeah, exactly. Um, can I, like, uh, is there anything else interesting around the room that that looks like it would be for somebody else to talk to as well? Well, there's, they're not soldiers. There's nobody carrying weapons in here. Right? They mostly look commoners, probably shop owners, um, mm-hmm. farmhands. But most of them, I mean, they're during the day, so they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing, or they they don't. There's nothing for them to do. So, but yeah, it's probably got two or three other people in the bar. Two guys talking to one another, a third one drinking off by himself, and the, of course the the barmaids are cleaning the tables and changing mm. out the sawdust off the floor and stuff. Mmm, attractive. Hmm. I don't know what else. Inns are not very busy during the day, especially in a small town like this. Maybe in Waterdeep right. or Neverwinter, you probably see a lot of people, but Oakhurst isn't that big. What's the population of Waterdeep? A lot. And Neverwinter? A lot. They're big towns. Actually, they're both considered cities. Yeah. And we're in Oakhurst. Oakhurst right now. And it's like a less than a thousand. It's less than a thousand people. It's a small town. Yeah. It's not busy yet. No, what I, I'm not sure what else. Uh, so enjoy your drink and yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna sit and enjoy the drink and see who else wanders in. I'm moving kind of slowly on this uh, this new uh, brew that's been given to me. Yeah. It's got a bit of a kick, but you're not as far as alcohol content. You don't really know. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, she's sleeping. What are you doing? I'm making my way through the market as unobtrusively as possible, listening, attempting. I would like to attempt to talk to somebody like, "Hey, have you heard about these kids? Heard about these ruins? Hey, I need." Food. <laughs> Trying, you know, sampling some of the food nearby because some people are cooking. Trying to appear that I'm not going to annihilate the marketplace. Now, as you're asking around, um, what are you asking specifically? Um, what I just said, you know, hey, you heard about these kids? These ruins. How far away are these ruins? I'm kind of curious. Like, are there maps of that of this area that can show me the way? It's not. We've never really marked it on a map. I mean, it's, our our cartographer, the few cartographers we do have here, they don't. Who's talking to me? Just random shop. Oh, okay. okay. Um, this is basically what you hear, but he doesn't. He talk. He basically talks about the. It's not really on a map. Mm-hmm. It's just that it's east of here. Um, they kind of go on. He just. We don't know what it was. We call it the Sunless Citadel because mm-hmm. it's underground. Oh, it's underground. Yes. I see. My uh, my my pap took me down there once. He showed me this cave. But it had those goblin writing all over it. At least that's what he said. He said it was goblin. Some type of weird writing. Just 
Jack, you... Corbin's calling you. But at some point, it's fine. We kind of have this thing that kind of goes on. It's just the stuff that used to belong to a dragon cult. Dragon cult? Yeah. Well, what kind of dragon? Yeah, that's like we have we have legends. That, Jack. Oh yeah, every, there's just stories, history, you know. And Jack. I guess the base we have some stories that mention it being a dragon cult. Jack. From a dragon pole. We don't really know what it really is. It's just, but the few people have gone down there and come back out. They say that there's a whole castle down there. I see. Oh, so we call it the Sunless Citadel. So people have come back. Not very often. I see. Okay. Do they say about how long it takes to get out there? Well, on my from my farm, me, me and Pap's farm. It's about a mile west of here. Really? But we walked, when we walked there, you know, it's going to be to the east. It's probably about a half a day's walk. Half a day's walk from your farm. Yeah, which is about a mile that way. Would you mind if I left with my party from your area? Use your home as a, your farm area as a place of reference? No, I just... Walk down the main road, you'll see a little trail leading off to the north, to the northeast, and it should take you right there. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you. Be careful. There are things that there are things up there. People have been talking about, you know, like a lot of the cattle drivers. I saw because he's pointing out to some of the cattle gear. Just they don't take their they don't take their cattle out too more too far. Mm -hmm. And the grazing is perfect out there, but they lose cattle all the time. To what? Nobody knows. We've had a couple of we've had a couple of farmers that ventured too far out. You know, didn't come back before back before nightfall. Found it the next day, and they had little needle holes all over them. So you be careful. I don't want no, you getting hurt. No, no other sign on the bodies. No. Nothing ate them or took anything. No, they're just they're dead. With pinpricks or needle marks. It was like a um, dozens of these. They're just a bunch of little holes of these needle-like wounds. No one knows. We think it's probably the goblins, but it does. I where, don't. where about on the bodies are the marks? Everywhere? Just on the body. Huh. Through the clothes. Anything that looks like they died from poison or something? No, they're just dead. Curious. And is it like, would you say it's on the fringes of where we are trying to go? Or is it just... Um, I'd say a couple miles out. A couple, two or three miles out past the farms. Is it off the road, on the road? We find them in fields, on the road, in the forest. Interesting. We just, I don't, I have to assume that they were either going up to do something. I mean, you know, farmers trying to get better grazing grounds for their cattle. Take a wet. So. I have one more question. Mm-hmm. Still one more two. two. <laughs> Do people not travel here at night, or does that not matter? I don't know. Oh. Okay. People, we here at Holkers, like especially the farmers, they stay near their farms. Mm -hmm. um, grazing is coming. Like I said, grazing is hard to come by. Yeah. They don't want to take go too far out because every time somebody, every time. Somebody doesn't get back by dark. Something happens to them. Interesting. I mean, there's you. You, I think you traveled. You traveled probably from Neverwinter. I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean towards the Citadel. Oh, yeah. Who's those? Those kids that just went. The Hercules. Yeah, they they um they went during the day. Interesting. And they came. I think it was. Sharon? Sharon. I think she was buying uh, some some rope. How much? Oh, what is... 50 feet, I think? Did you say why? Uh, it's not. Well, they they were going out. They were going to the sun. Everybody knew they were going to the sun. Was little. But it's... um. I think it was 50 feet. It was a month ago, so I don't remember exactly how much she bought. Excuse me. Over a month now. Okay. Well, I appreciate your uh, information there. I did a slight bow. 
He picks up a room, starts sweeping out the floor. I return the bag because it was polite. Okay. She held me down and she shaved me bald. She, I, and then she shook me like a dog and I went squeaky squeaky. I asked her and she said, yes, yeah, so I did it. <laughs> Daddy went to work and mommy, she did this thing. And now I have no hair. My oh, hair's no. gone. <laughs> but I like it. But I don't like it. <sighs> when my daddy goes to work, it is a free for all. <laughs> All right. God. It's getting to it's getting to dusk. A few a few hours away. He's had a few beers in him. Um, roll the iron constitution roots. check. Roll a d20. Five. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> you feel good. It's like it, I mean, you feel good. You've had a few beers in you, but you're not buzzed or drunk or anything like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, dusk is starting to hit. Um, and you keep you, you hear the way. legends and the rumors around town, mostly of the goblins. Mm -hmm. um, about it, the apple, they they bring this they bring this town an apple once mm -hmm. a year. Um, and the, so they buy it. So basically, the towns the townspeople here try to buy it from the goblins, which puts money into the community. And they don't ask. They don't ask questions. They just say it's a magic apple. Um, you eventually, you eventually start, do start find, finding out that you don't. They don't go Ellie, oh my God. too close to the Sunless Citadel. She took a whole piece of bread. They, go, they don't what? So close and ran. to the Sunless Citadel. <laughs> they they don't go too so so close to the Sunless Citadel because that's. Where a lot of the problems are happening, people start disappearing. And then there's that the goblin scent, or just people around town. People around town. Yeah. If they venture too close to it, they have bad things that happen. They disappear. Hey, they get Sam chased. River, why don't you go into your or flat room, out killed? Mm -hmm. well, okay, but stop with the meowing then. No, the people that get chased, they they say that they're getting chased by goblins. Yeah, they they claim it. They claim it's goblins that follow them. Okay, they chase them all. They also say some other creature have, there was a rumor, some other creature, um, something, and we don't know what it is, we don't, actually we don't know what they are, but they sometimes attack the goblins. Mm. Is there anybody there that's able to describe what that other creature is like? Mm. I... Uh, they don't. They don't really say that they know. They, they just. They give you a description that doesn't make any sense. They have long noses and spiky hands, and they carry swords and weapons, and so some type of humanoid. It's obviously not human or dwarven or anything of that nature, and it's not a goblin. Mm-hmm. No. Okay, so you already so, said you already said this doesn't sound familiar to me, so I I wouldn't wouldn't have known about anything like that. No, not really. You do, I mean, you do find out by overhearing somebody that the old road, which it skirts something called the Ashen Plain, and they say that he, they tried to bring, they tried to find some um, grazing ground for cattle and sheep and whatnot over there, but there's just nothing there to eat. It's all dead. It's lifeless. It's the what? What's it's, that called? It's the Ashen Plain. Ashen Plain. There's just nothing out there. It's like a desert. What to be? And what 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 was the significance about the, the ashen plain that they brought it up? The old road skirts the ashen plain. Yeah, you hear a couple there. people talking about it. Um, 
you're one you're one farmer and it's, it's more farmers are coming in but he kind of bumps the guy on the shoulder no you don't go there you should know better than that that's that that's that place oh it's the one at the hole the one you have to the one it's that hole. place where those those things come out those monsters that keep coming out you don't go up there mm. So when are these, uh, is there any time of day that seems to be more dangerous about this place than others? Are you asking something? Yeah, I'm asking Because we don't whoever. go out at night. The farmers, we're done. We're done during the day. We don't do anything at night. We stay on the farm. All right. Or we stay here in the city. Good to know. Sounds like we should go at night. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee skippy. He's like, oh, I wouldn't do that ever. I'd go through the day. <laughs> go to the day. You're going to be much safer. You've got to go through the day. When I'm done, All right, fine. Can, um, Should I arrive at the end? How long do you sleep? Huh? How long are you going to stay asleep? Well, I mean, I've been on the road. <laughs> For <laughs> less than one day. I'm taking a lot For of notes. Day, I'm really. taking notes. So, anyways. You sleep in okay, the dusky. whole thing. So, the sun is setting. Mm -hmm. More and more people. Um, more and more people are coming in. You start, you get woken up by the noise downstairs. Mm -hmm. She goes, ah, oh, people. I can sing. Don't, I don't do that. Tra -la -la. Uh, I guess I come downstairs and join Baron at the bar. Uh, I'm hungry. I would like some food and a beer myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, Luthien, you should really try this ale that the, that he brought me. It's... There's some good stuff. <laughs> I think I'll pass. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Alright, so you come downstairs. Right now, there's still a lot of room in the uh, in the tap room. Uh -huh. The tap room, we'll call it the tap room. Uh, um, a lot of people yes. still in the tap room. It's But it's significantly more than earlier day. You'd say it's probably about three quarters of the way full. And you still see people wander in as the sun sets. Uh huh. Don't let that cat out. I'm trying not to. The cat's in the pick, way. Pick her up and give her, your, give her to your dad. Give her a good shake. You say not to pick up cats, don't so I honestly have no idea how. Well, she won't let me pick her up. She just left. Um, she fine. If you're going for food, you could probably catch a you probably catch a um a tavern maid, and she'll give you probably about three silver worth of food, um, ham, cheese, eggs. What have you? Breakfast. Yeah. Early at night, though. Fresh snack food. <laughs> Just, do you, would you, do you require an ale? Yes, please. Okay. Um, she goes and it'll be another gold, it'll be another silver piece for your ale. Okay. Minus four. It's light. It's a light beer. It's a light, lighter ale. It's a bitch ale. beer. Huh? Poverty beer. Poverty beer. Poverty beer. <laughs> it's much, much, much lighter than yours. <laughs> Faith is probably going to try his. <laughs> make your way back to the inn. Mm -hmm. And again, it's, like I said, three quarters of the way full. Mm -hmm. She's sitting down next to Baron and stuffing food in her mouth. I'm hungry. Are you eating anything? Mm, you better just eat the, uh, the pretzels and uh, the whatever they have. Little snack the little yeah. snacks on the bar okay. there. You better eat something or you're going to be sick later. Yeah, it's okay, mother. So you've all got <laughs> different news. You both of you got different news. Mm -hmm. If you want everybody to know, you need to share. It. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between player knowledge and character knowledge. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's what your character knows and what your player knows. Mm -hmm. Or what you know. Okay. So if you want everybody to know, you need to share that information. Okay. Yes, we want everybody to know what we else learned, so... so. I'm looking for you guys. It's pretty <laughs> obvious. Hey, buddy! Really, it's the only armored people in the inn. <laughs> I sit down. Come, my friend. <laughs> How were you? <laughs> Tell me the what bar, you learned. She walks into the door. The The tavern room gets real quiet. Mm -hmm. And they look at her. And I'm like, hey! <laughs> Hi, guys! <laughs> um, she goes to sit down, and they start. it starts to pick back up again. I'm not wrecking the place. No. <laughs> Find yourself a stool because your tail doesn't fit in the chair. I don't have a tail. Oh, that's right. Dragonborn don't have tail. Unless it's a really I, long. You don't have a tail. Faithus does not have a tail. It's okay. a really long tailbone. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one tailbone. Oh god! 
<laughs> it's just a nub. Penis on your butt. <laughs> a little nub. Boop. Yeah. So you guys shared yeah. the information. And, and you can wiggle it. Do you guys? Do you actually want to say so that you remember, or you guys take all the I wrote notes? it all down. Okay. I've taken. There's no remembering. I've taken Bathus notes. Mm-hmm. I haven't taken Baron notes. Do all you need to hear it again? Um, I heard. Um, so we can just like. This is what I heard. You heard what he was told, right? What Bathus was told. I think so. You were told about the humanoid player, creatures with do long you remember? nose spiky hands. No, that was you. You were told that. Uh, you were told, you were told, told that things. it was a underground. Oh, no, no, that's right. You, did, you yeah. didn't tell me about You were the... told that the Sunless Citadel is underground and that there's a whole castle down there. There's the people a... don't usually come back. There's a dragon cult, or was. A dra- what? I missed that. Part. A dragon cult? Cult. Cult. Oh. Dragon cult. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only dragons get this cold. Uh, you learned <laughs> there was, uh, I mean... wasn't really anything on the map. Yeah, nothing on the maps. Um... Bodies have been found they call with it dragon needle axe. marks. You got that part. And then Sharon was there with around. She was coming around like a month or a month or more ago, looking for rope to go there. F- about fifty feet of rope. He thinks. He thinks. Um, there was goblin writing on or in the citadel as well. Um, that's where I'm. Baron, what the hell are you drinking? It's good. <laughs> it's some dwarven ale. Iron roots. You guys Iron make roots. some good shit. <laughs> yes. Can I get some? Oh, def- most definitely. <laughs> Barkeep, please, bring another ta- tankard. Glad, he's glad to bring it. And food, yes. please! Three silver for the tankard of ale. Okay. And then we'll say three, three food for food. Three, I'm sorry, three, three silver Three foods for, food. for foods. You give me foods, I give you foods. <laughs> you take my crappy food, you give me good food. <laughs> ah. So three. So basically, six silver, it's one... Where's yeah, my... Six silver. Where's my gold on here? Oh. <sighs> Wait, that's not accurate. Do you have any pickled herring as well there behind the bar? <gasps> pickled herring. <laughs> You're going to share that. Boy. Yeah. Yes, yes. Pickled herring. Uh, he Nine. doesn't have anything like that. He does bring up this jar full of round something in a liquid. <gasps> mm, Are those delicious. pickled eggs? Huh? Looks delicious, yes. They don't look like eggs you've seen before, though. I'm going to try some of these. <laughs> <laughs> Do I gag or what? I don't know. Roll constitution. <laughs> Thirteen. Um, plus it's, two. <laughs> it's like a weird honey flavor with spice, and they're chewy. They're not like your regular eggs. You actually actually have to chew on them. What are these? They're really good. Can I take some with me? <laughs> he kind of just moves the jar. If you, if you give me a gold, and I'll give you all of this. But what are they? Do you have a recipe? It's um. Is it something? Just, just be glad you're eating them. <laughs> what spider is it? eggs? Big I've heard spider. <laughs> I heard people eat spiders, so I mean, come on. What are they? <laughs> They're spider eggs. eggs? <laughs> How fun! You guys look, try it. No Yummy. way, I'm not eating that. Um. And he just kind of backs away. Wow. Goes into the back. <laughs> so, where, where do you find these spider eggs in this? <laughs> oh, they, they, I, we have a lot of, we have a lot of merchants that come into town. <laughs> they oh, come man. from all over. Get the recipe if you can. I'll, I'll come back and you gotta give it to me. Or who? I, I don't, I, it, it, they, it, they sat there for probably about a year. Ooh, for They only get better. Eggs. They only get better. Things okay. and honey. Oh! <laughs> He kind of looks a little green. <laughs> Barry, there's the river needing Uh-oh, to Uh-oh, is it no worky no more? Oh, no. We're going Batteries to need to turn, charge Is that it. a fly face? Oh, yeah. yeah. That is amazing. Okay, we need to turn it off now and we have to charge it. Go play, Rev. That's one gold pickled spider eggs? Yeah. Uh, it's probably... What'd you say? Your glad to have There's about 13 more eggs in there. Yeah, but are they pickled? Ooh, a baker's dozen. You can call them pickled okay. spider eggs. Yeah. Did I die? Okay. But you don't yes. know how they're pickled. It's just, it's spicy and they're sweet. They're just tasty. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right. Yes, so the three of you again, you share the information. Are you playing 
excuse me. You eat. Are you guys going to spend the night and leave in the morning? Or what are you guys going to do? I guess we need to decide. Huh? I guess I we, think need we to should decide. leave in the morning. I agree. Get going on yes. this. I'm curious. paid for these rooms for the whole night. I'm hearing conflicting things about traveling at night, so why don't we leave at daybreak? Okay. Cool. Dawn. Back to How about before dawn? <laughs> before dawn. I'm ready. I think I want more of this beer. And these eggs. Yes. I like these eggs. <laughs> so, you guys drink for this night. I'm going to say, if you guys stay up and drink and eat and do whatever, give me another gold from each one of you, and that'll supply you with whatever you buy for the night. Okay. Okay. Including beer, stuff like that. I have to wait so long until Um, are there any more rumors I can share with you? Oh, how much is my room? What kind of room do you want? There's the crappy rooms he's in, and then I'm the... sleeping in the crap. They're fine establishment of the the hay. I'll just bunk with you. Sounds great. Awesome. When you get in there, I mean, you go. He goes to show you what the room's like. There's only one bed. He's taking it. There's a hardwood floor. I can sleep on the floor. I'm uh -huh. fine. This, this right, so I thought there was straw in there also. It's there? a straw bed. Oh, it's a straw bed. Straw bales. Yeah. It's basically straw stuck in a giant pillow. Woohoo! Um, and the bugs are an uh, extra snack. Mmm. Anything uh, else? Please, uh, okay. Anything else I can... Any other information I can give you? Jupiter, please move. <laughs> no, I wants to be right there. I must be up your ass. How long is this going to record for? It's going for almost an hour now. It's been recording for an hour? Yeah, 51, 52 minutes now. We haven't done a damn thing yet. No, man. All right, so it here we time, go. time, man. The last, before you guys retire for the night, the last thing you really hear is when you guys are talking, tell, yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to see if we can get them back. And, you know, just general talking. Um, somebody describes what you're looking for. It's going to be in a ravine. Okay. The old po the old road passes to the east of a narrow ravine. Hold on, hold on. Passes to the east of old of an old ravine. Yeah, you'll know it because there's two pillars on either side of the ravine. They're just they're broken and they only sit you know a few feet high. Okay. Are they on, like, how are they positioned? Um, they're standing straight up. Are they on the road, like, on the, either no, side of the road? No, they're, they're at the mouth of the ravine. It's off okay, the road. so at the beginning of the ravine. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you also find out that others have been broken um, as, you, as you climb deeper into the ravine. Um, when you find the... When you find the uh, when you finally find the entrance, it will be there's there will be strange writing all over the place, like marking for some, the citadel. Yeah. Ooh, that's really good knowledge. So that's just what you hear. Some of the guys have that's the tried to explore en entrance to the citadel. Yeah. Or that's where the entrance is. Where everybody says it it is. So yeah, we used to go down there years ago, but we don't do that anymore. Oh, did we grab any torches <laughs> and stuff like that? Oops. How many of you can see in the dark? The, I'm so, sorry, we, see in the dark. They have dark the vision. Dark. I do not. Curiously I enough. can see dark vision six, 60 feet in front of me. Yeah, mine's the same. Yeah, it's, it's basically like seeing in moonlight. I'll strap you to my belt. <laughs> You're a half elf. <laughs> I'm going to strap you to my chest. <laughs> left. <laughs> left. I said Left. <laughs> Here, I got this baby Bjorn. I'll just stick you right here. Are you thirsty? Here is a beer. Click, click. Oh, I have ten torches. Okay. Mother, okay, carry see, There are torches, sorry. I don't know if I have any. If you think I would. You should have came with your traveling equipment. If you bought any. I have a water skin. That's cool. That's going to light your way. Thank you, smartass. I can see no, I don't have any torches. All right, well, he's got torches if he chooses to share them with you. Will you share your ship with me? 
Oh, but of course, for fellow travelers. Oh. Anybody in need, I shall help. You're such a sweetie. Your was that the beer talking? Your is kicking. Your breath is kicking. <laughs> Okay, so are we traveling down this road now? Or are we, we're waiting until daybreak. We need to go to bed because, yes. oh. bitch, we is tired. We're tiring for the evening. Okay. Excuse me, children, where are we going? Outside. No, no, it's too wet and sloppy out there, and there's dog poop we're everywhere. Not we're not. Get out. Go. We're, we're not, not supposed to be going out there. Um. All right, so the morning comes along. You guys get a fair amount of drinking, and there's. Tap at, one, at your guys' doors. Actually, it's probably going to be yours first okay. because you've got one of the better rooms. It's going to be, it'll probably be a few hours into daylight. Um, if we kind of, kind of talk about time, let's say 8 30 in the morning. Yeah. Roughly. Eighth hour. Um, just. Hello. And Tika says, you hear, you hear the voice, Tika, you, you recognize the voice. Miss Miss Larios? Uh-huh. Miss Larios? Yeah. That's not me. <laughs> Luthien. 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 Sorry. It's like here. Miss yes. Luthien. What do you want? I heard um you wanted to get an early start last night. Um I wanted to make sure you were waking up. Uh thank you. Uh could you do the same for the dwarf and the dragonborn? <laughs> The dwarf is already awake and back at the park. Getting his morning rear. The two, your two friends that were sleeping together. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. She sounds very uncomfortable. <laughs> and she, you hear the walking down the wall. And then the, it, it, I don't know. Um, what? What? I'm gonna bust open the door and stick my head up and go, yeah. You hear a really light tapping. <laughs> I do. I open the what door. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> she gets out this, this cry like, ah! <laughs> and jumps back a little bit. I like screech go, back. She looks, down, she looks down at your body. I mean, what are you wearing? Uh, I don't know. Are you wearing your actual just clothes? I'm naked. I sleep naked. This is comfy. <laughs> With the door. <laughs> and you're... A dragonborn. Are you male? Yes. Okay. She's like, um, she looks down. She's like, uh, um, um, oh, you want to, you, uh, are you, um, it's here. okay. I'm, it's okay. We'll be out in a minute. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, sorry to disturb you. Can you get us some breakfast? Some more of that delicious dark beer that he was drinking. Just, Before just, we go, just one each, please. Thank you. <laughs> just a small tank. Yeah, small. small. Her Megan. eyes are wide, like in shock. <laughs> just okay, okay. And she kind of sca- she Mwah. she scampers down. Blow her a kiss. <laughs> she scampers down. Naked dragging a man. <laughs> um. So yeah, that happens. Um, I'm going to assume you guys are going to get dressed, armored up, get yes. your gear together. Yeah, grab all our gear. Boom, and we're ready. Before you leave, is there anything else you want to get? Do we need horses or are we on foot? What well, oh, horses horse sailing uh, down the field? Yeah. Okay. No good horse, horses. What about ropes? Do we have ropes? I have rope. Get, how much have rope, rope do you have? I have 50 feet of rope. We should probably Hemp get rope. another 50 yeah. feet each. Yeah. We need some rope. Yeah, you guys we need, need some What rope. else did we say we needed last night? I think, really, we You're, didn't. You can't use the dwarf's rope? <laughs> I bought. I mean, how much? I don't know how much rope we need. But I got us more rations. Right. Oh, so we need to give you some some coins back for those rations. Just pay for my food. Okay. We're good. How much was your food last night? Your, your... It was a gold for from each of you. It was a gold for my special eggs. <laughs> and then a gold for the... Uh... So she's, she's actually making out better. <laughs> she's making out better. She spent like... Okay. I come out eating some more of those eggs out of that jar, like, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> People be like, oh my god, what is this oh, problem? <laughs> so you make your way out to the common room. You, so everybody, everybody roll a uh, perception check. Twelve. Twelve. Plus points? Nineteen! Oh, Fourteen. Perception check is... Plus three. Fourteen. 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 
14 total. Minus right. one, so 11. Okay. I have 19, 20, 21, 22. Wow. So as you guys are coming out of the common room, you see that she's taking care of the ale, um, some food and so forth. You're the only one that hears this, but here's someone in the back of the kitchen saying, they're couples. The dwarf, it's a couple. <laughs> <laughs> they're... Well, how do you know that they're sleeping together? <laughs> hey, dragon baby. Hey, <laughs> big boy. over at the bar. <laughs> you... I got spot on the lap. I did not see that coming. Who... They're like, like <laughs> who? Who's the... <laughs> and who's... How does that work? <laughs> so you basically hear that. That's yeah. what you hear. I'm, a, I'm a bit of a spinner. <laughs> But, Sit yeah, down and spin, baby. <laughs> there's food set out for you. I think I would say for the whole. It's what? gonna be a gold for so all three of you. I'm sorry. A gold what? to watch him spin around on him. What the hell? <laughs> I just spin the wind. That's more of a, that's more of a, <laughs> yeah, basically. It's more of a pay to watch. <laughs> I just wanted to eat food. It's two, spin the wind. It's a gold for the two ales and the little bit of food you guys are gonna get in the morning. Eggs. So, okay, Luthien, I think you have this round. Do not. No, you. You're paying for me. <laughs> I'm not drinking this morning. Oh, I look. James to... left his gold pouch here before he ran you sure away. You haven't seen da- James yet. No, oh, you guys He never seen came him? in. He never came back to the inn. I lost him at the marketplace. I don't know where he He's went. He's a scallywag anyway. Oh, boy. Oh. Should we go find him, or do you think he's gone? I think we should at least walk through the square and see if he's hanging in some stockades or something. We can find more rope there too, I wonder. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, Jackie. I mean, this game. Do you need a beer? No, I've got one halfway here. Okay. You guys eat. You know, it's, mm-hmm. Let's say we're put about 10, 10 o'clock in the morning, roughly. Okay. Okay. You make your way out. That's for an early start. Where are you block. going? <laughs> well, are you going to the stockade? We're looking for our companion. Yeah, I think we should kind of take a quick peek around we for our companion since he left. I'll go to the market and get rope. You guys want to go peek around? All right, let's go look for him. Mm-hmm. And we look under this box, and we look under that box, and we open this door. <laughs> look in the pillories. <laughs> All right, so you make your way to the Poke cascade. The there's, shops. there's nobody in there. Um, there's a couple of drunks sleeping off their previous night. Um, the who was master at arms? Felicio. <laughs> Felocio. It sounds like Felicio. It's it's Felicio Hornblower. (laughs) (laughs) So Felocio's in there. She's writing up. She's writing on a piece of paper at like a little side office. Oh my god, they're all out here. What is he doing? Baby. Wrecking noise. So yeah. she's doing Providing some paperwork and stuff. Uh, yeah. Are you going to ask him anything or what? Her anything? I'm I'm going to the market to get root. So you yeah. go off to the walk. Have we talked to the master at arms yet about this citadel place? No, I guess we should probably talk uh, to her. Let's go some question more. them. Mm-hmm. Let us go and question them then. <laughs> Felicio. Felicio. So she, so Felicio. She, again, she's right. She's right in the scroll. She's what? She's writing on a scroll. A squirrel. A squ- a scroll. 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 <laughs> Are you warm? Do you want to get comfortable? I've heard riding on a squirrel. Oh, comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big squirrel. <laughs> she's you so still. She's a very small halfling. So, Don't anyway. call her a gnome. <sighs> so, anyways, um, she's yes. in there writing. And what do you say to her when you walk around the corner and see her running away? Oh, good day there, <laughs> constable. Like, How are you? It's you too. What can I? What can I do to help you with? I'm trying. Oh, well, we seem to have uh, misplaced a friend of our, our our companion with our party here. Well, we're supposed to also I'm wondering if you might have place. seen him at all. Well, there's a couple of drunks now. In the holding pens. Uh, this one, he's kind of roguish in, in shifty. appearance. Very shifty looking character. Hmm. Wears all black. 
very sullen. Very. I have to investigate someone that has that description. I don't think he's going to be of much use to you. Hmm. Well, can we see who that might be and see if he's our friend or not? <laughs> he kind of looks. He looks at the both of you. And says, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. If, if it's the same guy, I don't know. I just got the report now. So he, she stands up. She straps on her sword. Um, puts on a, you know, puts on like a leather jacket. It's not snapped up all the way. It's like it's a leather armor, but it's not fastened closed. So she kind of just wraps it on and. then she leads you guys out. She leads you out to the west side of town, where you came in from yesterday with the towers. And in a tree, there's somebody hanging. Oh shit! Hmm. Goes. Would that be your friend there? He's de- there's no weapons. There's no pack. There's only clothes on him. His boots are gone. A little blue in complexion. Who did he And you this notice off? that James is been hung. Oh. Wow. Hmm. There's scrapes and bruises all over him. I he's need he's, a marks. <laughs> he's now, it doesn't look it looks like it looks like he got caught doing something. Shame, shame. So and she's looking at him she, like she, looking up the body, touching it and stuff. And she's she basically says, So the report I got was this guy was broke into a couple of homes last night. Oh mm-hmm. no. And got caught. I can't say who did this. It's the report I'm gonna have to go into, but I have to do some investigating. But is this your friend? Well, apparently it looks like he. It is our our colleague, or really more of a tag along. Really, never really liked that kid. Hmm. <laughs> well, your kid stole some things, and I think he's lost a few things. Well, it looks like it. None of the stuff is here. And he's, of course, he's lost his life. His <laughs> eyes are all blue, like um, bulging. Uh, not well, not bulging. <laughs> What's the word? I'm, um, he was, he's been. You can tell he's been beaten pretty savagely. Oh, he's been black eyes. Black, black and eyes. blue. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I have lay of hands. <laughs> Does nothing. <laughs> All right, oh, damn. Champion. <laughs> you can't cure death. <laughs> what? I'm not a necromancer. <laughs> but yeah, he's been he's been pretty savagely beaten. He's obviously got he obviously got the the short end of the stick as far as the beatings, and um, he was hung. And she goes over there and she cuts the rope and he sl- falls to the ground like a rag doll. So what do you want to do with him? What are you going to do with him? Well, I think uh, I think we should. Uh, uh, I mean, he's. Uh, we're, we're sorry for this inconvenience he might cause. Nope, never seen this man in my life. No. <laughs> well, she already knows that's bullshit. Yeah. Uh, so you're you're not claiming the body then. I think we will hand over some coppers for his burial. Let's just say that. <laughs> oh, don't worry about the burial. He'll, oh. he'll get a pop. He's a, he'll get a popper's grave. Okay. I'm not here. I know. I don't know. What's, I mean, the, what's to claim about him? <laughs> huh? Claim him as and take him away, or yeah, you yeah. go bury him. Nah, we'll let somebody else deal with that. He was kind of a shit, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what does Lucian say? I don't know. I can't speak for her. Lucian had to pee. She's over behind the tree. <laughs> <laughs> what did you see on the other side of the tree? Are there any Luth- clues? Lucian has a hangover. <laughs> Lucian. Um, okay, where are we at, sir? So you find your. He leads you out to a body that was hanging. Right. On right. Savagely side. beaten. Right. And he was hung up, uh-huh. which is probably what ultimately killed him. Uh-huh. Um, she cut him down, and he hit the ground like a rag doll. And now she's asking, "Are you going to claim him? Or are you going to claim the body?" Or what? To so go bury him, or would I just say go let, let somebody else bury him. But who's going to bury him? The, 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 you would bury him. I mean, we'll bury him, of course. Yeah, but let's give him a pop. Is there a fee or something? Why are you such a heartless asshole? Is there a fee for burying well, a body or what? He said that 
well, I didn't tell you. So, one of the things he, t- he was telling Baron is that, yeah, he broke into a couple of houses last night with uh-huh. healing. Uh-huh. And looks like he lo- he got the short end of the stick, so to speak. Uh-huh. And as you can see, this happened for him. Right, well, he seems to be buried. A to... The magistrate wasn't called. He wasn't, he wasn't notified until this morning. Okay. Or she wasn't notified. There was some vigilante justice that happened there. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to claim the body? Yeah. What's the fee to bury them? You they want, they were going to bury him for free in, in Popper's grave anyways. That or you go and But he will not be buried. He will not be buried in the graveyard for the town. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. Uh, Why is this a tough decision? <laughs> Why do I have to make the decision? Because I would said leave him. <laughs> well, then why did you ask me to make a different decision? No, I'm asking because I wanted you to be, as a DM, I wanted you to be a part of that yeah, yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah, sure. So Even. he's saying uh, we don't, we want nothing to do with it. Okay. Are that's, you saying the same? That's fine. Yeah. All right. Well, that well, well, bury him. She shrugs and she starts going through his pockets and looking for clues. We could have searched his body. Oh, there's nothing. You can tell she's finding nothing. You've been stripped. Stripped. Can you guys do the huh? No, I'm good, thank you. No, I'm good. Do you need water? Sure. And that is the end of James. Mm-hmm. My son! <laughs> Logan did. Because he didn't want to play anymore. Well, we can't resurrect his character now. We Sorry. Just your own part and oh, yeah. Maybe we'll create Jack a character and we can pick him up along the way. One day. Did you need anything? Okay, thank you. Did you want anything? No. What? Yeah. What do you want? I don't care. Surprise me. Give me Popper's beer. I win. So is it worth our time to kind of go and investigate, or you just kind of create the story of James Robin and Lewis? So, okay. Do you want to investigate, or what do you think? What do you think you're going to accomplish? That's what I mean. I do like you care enough about James. No. Other than maybe getting his money. There yeah, wasn't any all. money on him. Yeah. So hopefully it's the people that that he robbed from got his shit. More than likely they did. Yeah. Um, you okay, buddy? I'm really tired. All right, so that's you what happens. It frees yeah. you up to go make your way to the Sunless Citadel. Okay. Hey, no! Did we ask the magistrate about the Sunless Citadel? I thought we had talked to her before because she recognized us. Okay. Yeah. No. So she didn't really have a lot of have information. A yeah. Her. Um, you have a general idea where it's at. Mm-hmm. You know what to expect, oh, roughly. Okay. Sounds good. Let's go. And we're walking there, right? It's. it's you guys haven't bought any happened. horses or anything. It'd be about a half a day. Well, based on what Vanessa shared with you guys, it's roughly a half a day's. Jack, go play in the bedroom with your friends, please, and stop rocking that chair so hard. Get up and do what I ask. Oh, first. Yep. Um, okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, where are we at, folks? We are We're ready, ready to leave to for walk the that way. So we, oh, um, I'd say we met back up as we walked back I, through town. Did I purchase rope? How much is rope, Matt? Oh, did you purchase rope? I don't know, did you? Yeah, I was going to buy... Oh, that's right, because you were off by yourself. Yeah. 50, 100 feet of rope. 100 feet? 50 for me, 50 for Luthien. So the cheap stuff or the expensive stuff? You want silk rope or hempen rope? Hempen rope. Give me two gold pieces for 100 feet. Let's do it. That's two 50-foot sections, right? Yeah. 
I need, we need to math how much I've spent because I You need to math on how much you've spent. I said we as in we, myself. <laughs> so I have three gold left. I have no idea what I have going on here. What did I do with the ear? I took that dude's ear. It's on a necklace around your neck. Sweet. That's a druid for you. <laughs> it's a talisman. So, 11, 2, 9, 8 gold and silver. Six, two, seven. So, Hold on, I'm trying to math. <laughs> well, I'm going to continue. Um, as you go, you basically running, you walk, you walk about a half a day, it's roughly seven miles. And you come to this ravine that almost intersects, almost intersects but veers off again. Or, I'm sorry, it almost intersects where you see the ravine up in the mountains, and at the base of it, it's two broken columns. Aha! Uh -huh. They're about two or three feet high. Um, you see other... Oh, we're going to wait until you guys decide to go in the ravine for that. Um, is anybody able to speak goblin? Um, what do I speak? What do goblins speak? Are you, invest, are you guys goblin? investing the uh, investigating yeah. columns? Yes, I would say let's I investigate don't speak the goblin. I speak under common. So we see the column, so I'm going to. <gasps> Holy shit! So this is passive investigation, right? Is that what it is, or? Do I have any reaction to James's demise or anything? Or... <laughs> Did we tell you? Do we? Do we tell me? Do it? Oh yeah! By the way, James is dead. What the? Why? He was a shifty ass character and stole shit. Oh, well, that is unfortunate. So Rest the... in pepperoni. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want you to roll an investigation, each of you. Me? 20 sided, not 12 sided. 12 sided? No, 20 oh, sided. No, he was... She picked up a 20. Oh. Oh, five minus two, three. three I got plus four. I have a six. Oh, it's not a one. I, I got a seven. seven. Okay, so no one got ten or better. Wait, I got a perception. Is that what you're asking? No, investigation. Oh, investigation. It's under intelligence. Thank you. You rolled a seven. I got an eight. Oh, eight. Well, too bad. You still didn't do it. Um, you on the on the columns. You see. Vague, like worn away lettering of the, dwarven, of the dwarven apps. I forgot what she was going to say. Sometimes okay. that happens. Mm -hmm. I got the brain fart. Like how distressed her face can't was. Put much of them close. Oh, no. You can't put them very. You can't think so. read enough of them yeah, letters to actually so. find out what they read. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but you do you do recognize a few letter a few dwarven alphabet. But not anything that you can actually specifically read. What do you I'm really sorry. Where are we? We're at the pillars to go <laughs> Okay. Okay, so the script is on the pillars. Y'all, y'all. We have the Capri No. Capri <laughs> I'm have kidding. You guys had Capri Suns already? Just, no. no. They're in the fridge outside. You may have one. 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 Please put your trash in the bin. Weird scripts. On pillars. All right, now I want you all to roll intelligence check. Ooh, seventeen minus two. I got eighteen. Fifteen. That's much better. I got seventeen plus one. You're good. Eighteen. Um, two eighteen. No. Well, I got a sixteen plus two, so eighteen. 15. So huh? there's as you guys are looking around the, these pillars up and down the ravine, you know, you're finding. Several campfires. Evidence of them? Yeah. Evidence of small campfires. Some as recent as a month ago. Um, Close the door when your dad wakes up. 
Uh, someone went to some effort to hide the evidence of the camps from casual scrutiny. So someone actually tried to hide the campsites. But, I mean, you can still find charred wood, maybe some scorched rocks and so forth. As you make your way further up the ravine, you come to pretty much a hole in the ground. There's a bunch of leaning pillars. Um, some laying down, some have fallen into the ravine. You can see the, the bottoms of them kind of like leaning down. Um, and there's a rope tied to one of the leaning pillars did they hanging just, down. Did they go outside and stay outside or did they come back in? They're trying to they come in. What's in. happening? Can we get everybody back in here and the door shut, please? Get back did in. Did River come back in? Her thing in? Is there anybody else outside? Nope. No. Where's right. Zoe? She's already in. She's right so, anyway, you, from one of these leaning pillars you find a rope it's tied from the pillar and down in the and hangs down into the hole mm, and i cut the rope no <laughs> oh god here's one go ah! bear and god damn it <laughs> that was one of the children trying to get out okay no but it leads it it falls down into the uh it leads down into the this cave okay if you're if you and as you look at the rope you can tell that it it's it can't couldn't have been there longer than maybe two or three weeks. Oh my god. Um, let's see here. From the edge of the ravine, older and weathered handholds and footholds can be seen carved into the cliff face. Mm. Uh And as you look down, it, it there's it's some distance. The rope almost goes almost down to some. It's a light sun, light shining down into the hole from the sun, and you can see a surface. And the rope is probably about ten feet high off the off of that surface, as you can tell. Hmm. That looks I'm pretty spooky. I'm going to uh, toss a uh, a stone down into the mouth of the cave and see if anything happens. If there's anything down there. And it kind of has that slow fall when it falls in the distance, and just boom, we see dust, and it kind of rolls off to one side. Nothing else kind of comes scurrying out, or no, you don't anything. hear anything or anything of that. Who who has the best eyes? Probably one the two of us. us are the same. They have mm -hmm. the dark vision. Okay, I'll go first. So you're going to climb down? I'll climb down. All right. So, Lucian. Lucian? Lucian. 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 We don't know. Lucian. Lucian. I never know anymore. It's Lucian. Lucian starts, um, starts um, prepping herself to go down the road. Okay. And I'm going to keep a lookout up above. So I'm watching down. Okay. Oh, Nobody has a bow or anything. Here. No, don't think so. No, I have, I have a crossbow. Bow too. I have a hand crossbow. You do? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you want to carry it down, or do you want one of us to cover you? Um, probably cover me. Okay. How far is the? How far do I got to shimmy down this rope? By the way, there's also a ten foot drop at the end. All right. Are they burping? Are they having a burping contest? Who knows? Probably. <laughs> All right. Uh, I give Baron my crossbow and tell him to cover me, and I start to shimmy down the rope. Because I do have proficiency in my weapons. Oh, proficiency in weapons. I'm, in, proficiency. Oh, what, I'm going oh, what to about, investigate. What? What? Can, what? What? I should have cast the dancing lights and lit my way. But Still I have dark you. vision. I don't have to do that. Well, we can see to the bottom, kind of. Still with the light that's shining in, so. Do we have a way to light torches once we're in there? No, you'll Don't be able to light a torch. Fire? No, I breathe acid. Uh, not as good as fire. Breathe on it! <laughs> in the meantime, I'm looking at the pillars with all the weird writing and going, hmm. 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 <laughs> This is weird. Can anybody read the goblin? 
Mm -mm. I don't think this guy knows the goblin. I can't read goblin. The whole page with that. I was wondering if James knew that I read that. I thought somebody did, but. Mm -mm. It's too late, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> He played a stupid game and he played he got a stupid prize. Where is where did we find our languages, guys? Right here on the front. Oh. No. No goblin he only here. Spoke common. common, draconic, and druidic. Mm-hmm. There we go. Let's go back. Is this where we melt into the floor? Feels like it. They're freaking awfully loud today. What's wrong, Spud? Go play with your friends. Get up and go play right. with the other kids. So you make your way down to the ledge, right? Yeah. It's the sandy ledge overlooks a, a subterranean gulf of darkness to the west. The ledge is wide but rough. Sandy, rocky debris, and the bones of small animals cover it. A rough-hewn snarl zigzags down the side of the ledge, descending into the darkness. Okay. Cool. At this point, I'm going to lower her down, lower down her crossbow to her with my rope, so she now has her weapon again. Got my weapon. Give me one second here. So as he's lowering down his crossbow, you start hearing something scurrying around just outside your vision. Okay. Faster, faster. Uh, with your dark with your dark vision, you see rats. Fun. And they're not just regular rats; they're giant rats. Giant rats. Ooh, loses. I think I need my sword for this one. Ooh, do we get to use stuff to do stuff? Well, you two are up are up at the top. She's mm -hmm. down there by herself. I He's draw my sword. I swing on the rest. Swing. All right, so roll. Swing. Roll d20. A seven. That's what? What am I? Was that an initiative, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. Seven. What's your? Do you have a bonus to your initiative? Uh, It'll be near your where your initiative says, or it says initiative. I can't find it. Where does it say initiative? Well, initiative is... Plus two. Nine. Plus two. So you have nine? Yeah. All right. Oh, I see it. Mine's zero. Awesome! <laughs> Where is What's your AC? What does AC stand for? Your armor class. 13. It's in the shield. <laughs> okay. So one... Do, 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 do. Okay. One leaps at... You. One leaps at you, but you just kind of kind of do this and it goes off to the side. Okay. And the other one jumps at you but falls short. Okay. So let me. I need my giant rats. Where's mine? We have. We have. Oh. So let me set this table. There's so much screaming happening. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously, the people upstairs are going to hear a commotion. There's people upstairs? Well, I'm talking about Baron and... Um, oh. 
Ness's character. No, 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 not your, not your outfit. Go put clothes on, Jack. You're going outside. I'm not going outside. They're okay. just putting the pack away. No more screaming, guys. No, it's wet and poopy out there. We've already said that. Just throw that away and then come back in. No more hollering. Are these out to the side? Are your rats in here? They might be in the scatter box. Oh, wow! Where's going? Look, a minute 30. <laughs> Look, you keep your stuff and I can't believe it's not butter container like you're an 80 year old woman. I love it. <laughs> Gotta be used to that shit. I have to use I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> no, it's golden soft. Oh. Golden soft. It's, it was cheap. <laughs> Where's your character? Did you find right the rats? Here. She's missing her sword arm. Did you find the rats? I found the rats. Okay, cool. Her sword arm? Yeah, it snapped off. I gotta glue it back on. Oh no. And her so looks. I don't know her. what happened. Oh my, oh my god, let me get a, a view of the drama. Oh, I can't turn the, the thing around. Did we paint these? I painted them. Okay. Don't worry. So we're gonna put you like that. One jump past you, and you kind of shoved it off to the side. Pew pew wreck. Okay. That's what we're looking at. All right. Wild. Is that Baron? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's Bankus? <laughs> I don't know, you haven't got him out yet. Oh, because I didn't think we were so going to do So, it's your attack. Oh, me? Okay. Yes. Uh, is my goal to kill these rats? I would say so. They were okay. probably going uh, to eat you. I swing my sword again. <laughs> Which way you're going? Uh, to the left. The one right here? Yeah, this guy over here. So... This does not immediate. This does not okay. promote an attack. While this is happening, I quickly pulled this crossbow back up since it's just still hanging there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so okay. you roll your attack. Okay. Grab it and ready it. Just a d20. Yeah. And you're two hit. It's we, an eight. Did, we didn't roll for initiative, did we? She mm -hmm. did because she's down there. So we should for... still roll roll two and see what we we're able you're to do. You're upstairs. You're not in yeah. the combat. We're not in there yet. Oh, we can't. We're not even close enough to. Yeah. Yeah. About fifty feet in the air. Uh, we may not even know. I got an eight. You got an eight plus what? What's your? What are you attacking with your sword? Uh, with my sword. Sword. I gotta go back and where do I look for that? Long Under sword, attack. sword, sword. Uh, plus three. So eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Just the shorts with you. you. Miss. I miss. Damn. Just not. You just. It's a. There's a size difference. Okay. Okay. So you suddenly hear something, some type of commotion going on. You don't hear it well, but you hear something going on, and she's got her sword out. Okay. Mm -hmm. You said you were bringing up the crossbow again? Yeah. Got the, brought the crossbow back up. Um, can I, but I can't see what's going on. Is that what you're saying? Not so much. It's, it's about 50 foot drop. All the light you can see is basically centered on her. Can you shimmy down? Uh, yeah. So I say I quickly just kind of slide down the, ro the rope with my dwarven dexterity of, uh, on the rock face also. <laughs> and, uh, you're going to try and get down as quick as you can. Yeah, so I'm going to get down as quick as I can now. What are you doing? I see him suddenly go down the, go down the rope and think, Oh, there must be something up. And I go, I, fall, I wait for him to sound he like he's going down, and then I also join them. You both are on the same rope? No, I'm waiting for him to get down first okay. before I descend. Yeah, I'm, I'm sliding down just total... Badass, one, one hand as I have my uh, my hammer in the other, oh. getting one nasty rope burn on my left hand. Aren't you wearing gloves? Well, yeah, but it's still what hot. What is that? I don't know. Can you please put that away? It's a monster truck. Take it to the room, please. Do you need to take a break outside? No, I just there. Everybody wants to be so damn noisy. Yes, I understand. Everybody All right. keeps finding the noise. So you're getting down there. Yeah. Um, you're slowing down. You'll be able to have, you'll be down by next time. Mm -hmm. um, I want you to roll your dexterity and your strength. Mm -hmm. You. Oh. So. And dex plus. 13 and dexterity is minus one, so 12. Okay, what about your strength? And my strength is okay. a 19 plus four, so that's 23. 
Nice. It's rough going. You're banging against the wall as you're going down. Mm-hmm. But you're going down as quick as you can. Mm-hmm. You're not you're not getting rope burns or anything along those lines. Okay. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're waiting for him to go down. Yeah. So this rat here leaps at you. Well, leaps leaps at you and it bites you in your ankle. Okay. So you take three points of damage. And then rabies. <laughs> oh, gosh, babies. <laughs> <And> ongoing. <laughs> three points of damage. Where Can do you I get record rabies that from at? rats? Hit points. In your journal. Okay. So, so when that happens, the other seven. one reaches and bites you in the thigh. For Rude. four points of damage. Oh, so I'm down to three. Is there mm-hmm. any saving roll that she's uh, supposed to do? To... It's her armor class. She's being directly oh. attacked. Okay. And she's basically two on one. Okay. So your turn. Oh, um, is there any place for me to hide down here? You want with a rat on your ankle? Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I will draw my dagger and. Um, well, I, I think you, you still have your sword in your hand. Yeah, you could slash out of your sword. Am I playing or are you playing? All right, fine. I draw my sword and I. Your, your sword's, sword's already drawn. drawn. <laughs> this is important <laughs> for the play. <laughs> <laughs> you can still draw your dagger. You've got a dagger and a sword. You hold the How about I just die, okay? <laughs> no, we're not doing that. All right, not today. I, I slash with my sword, trying to get the stupid rat off of my leg. Oh my god, you're 20. Four. <laughs> Chelsea, what the fuck? I don't know. Well, you swing down, and your sword of you digs into the dirt. It doesn't even come close to it. Um, girl. You reach the Where's you with your acid breath? <laughs> yeah, rain, acid is raining down on all of you. Okay, so I reach the bottom. Uh-huh. Where is you? I'm gonna put you yeah. right there. You can already see she's got blood. She's she's hurting already. Blood. How much damage did you take on that? She's down to 30% of I'm her health. I'm almost dead. There is dying. Uh, well, I could he- try to heal her or... I think I should probably get this rat that was biting her ass. Um, it was my thigh. Okay, so I'm going to swing my warhammer right at it. Yeah. Speed, speed, Which one, this one? Yeah. So we're going to move you here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I got a 14 what? plus... Uh, now, if I'm using my Warhammer, is that one of these as well? No, it's going to be the plus just, next just year. Just on my Warhammer. So plus six, so 20. Okay. All right, roll damage. What's the damage of it? No, I don't 20. You don't, it, there's sorry, no, no weapon no, that has right. a D20. That's right. Um, that's the D8 plus four. So roll your D8. Which is, that one right there. It is this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Three, Three plus four. Seven plus. points. Plus four, yep. Seven points damage. Rat you smash! Come Whack! Bam! And it <laughs> hits the ground immediately. She's, it's off her leg, <laughs> so to speak. So, you immediately, you, you obviously see better what's going on now that the rats are, like, on her. Yeah. Um, he immediately clobbers one. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Can I heal from where I'm at? Shoot her it's a heal? 50, she's 50 feet away. 50 feet away. Is there a... Is there a range or is it on sight alone? Range is 60 feet. It doesn't say anything about... In ra- like... If you want to heal her, range. you can heal her. Can I see if it's her? within range? Well, yeah. You can look down. You see one splattered rat. You can't see the other one too well. Okay, you can then, see the two of us, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Then I would like to heal her because she needs a heal. Roll. What's the heal? Oh, fuck. Ooh. Healing word. 1d4 plus 3 HP plus 1d4 HP. What the fuck? Okay. <clears throat> Healing word. One creature, not undead or construct. Heals 1d3 plus 3 plus 1d4 plus per level. I believe that is. Your level one, it'll be one d three plus three. One d d three, right? No, that one, and then was it one d three or one d four? One d one d four plus three. So roll that, and then add three to it. Oh god! Two. Roll it in the box. Okay. 
Three. Three plus three, six hit points. So you six. get six hit points, you immediately start feeling better. Okay. But the other one's still ripping on your ankle pretty hard. Okay. Big ass rats and shit. You said you give, I get six hit points? Yeah. Okay, so I'm back up to nine. Don't hang on that babe. What? Okay, so that's going to put you... She's the, okay. Her and after maybe. the rat. Yeah. It's going to be... After the rat. It's the rat, her, and then you. I still have a rat on my ankle. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? That was not intentional. Four, eight... <laughs> the rat just knocked her out. <laughs> no. You take six points of damage. Oh, fuck! And she I just a big chunk out of your life. I just Great. healed you. Now I'm dead. God damn it! <laughs> Are you down to nothing? I got no legs. I got no legs. No, she took I a chunk three. out of her leg. Um, yeah, three, basically, what I, I had to, to do, I rolled a twenty. I rolled a critical hit. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Had to roll it again to see okay. how bad of a critical hit, and I rolled an after one. You're fine. Oh, nice. That that's good. It's a fine. <laughs> Which leads you to you, and it hurts. Yeah. So I'm screaming. I'm on the ground. I'm crying. I got blood. There's what blood. What are you doing? You're tougher than that. I'm it's, your gonna it's your turn. It's your turn. I'm telling you knife. what I'm doing. I'm, I'm stabbing. It's got, it's... I'm, I'm stabbing. I'm stabbing. All right. And, and I'm stabbing. <laughs> They're 18 plus what? Uh, I'm stabbing with my dagger plus four. Four plus what? 18. 18. No, I'm saying what's your damage of your dagger? Oh, uh, 1d4 plus 2. Plus 2? Alright, roll. This is the d4. And what do I read? 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. So it let it lets go. Okay. As you pull your dagger out, it kind of it kind of takes a step back. It stays okay. where it's at, but you can see you've got it in the side. Okay. Um, now it's your turn. Okay, so now I am going to uh, grab my, my axe and I'm going to throw it at the... Uh, at the rat. Rodent of unusual size. Yep. So, 13 plus, uh, that's a... You look at the damage here. And you look at your hand axe. So you have a 1d6 for, what is that? Yeah, 1d6 for, okay. So, so did, did the 13 hit, or do I yeah, add thir- to it, though? You can add the, you can add, add your, my... uh, to hit with it, which, in this case, it, it does because the AC is 12. Okay, so it's just going to hit yeah. anyways. Um, but what would I add to it? My for throwing. One d four. So if you go look at this, okay. Hand axe plus six to hit. One d four plus four or one d six plus four to damage. Right? Okay. So in this case, it would have been a nineteen. Yeah. Or right. so one d six plus three. Four. Yeah. Every that's not. A, that's or, like the regular die. Mm, two three days in a row. And it's been a hell of a week. Yeah. Two, two plus four so six. And you throw the axe, comes have up, six chunk, and, the the noises and it just me, yeah. severed the spine. It basically it's... rolls with your with your axe. Nice. And dead. Okay. Dead as a door now. So you finally make it down there. Oh, I do. Okay. Or, yeah. Let's go ahead and put you down there. Hello. It is I. You can I, say she's got a real I am doing nasty the gash scream. on her leg. <laughs> okay. Can I heal again? I'm limping. Do you have another healing spell? I'm woozy. Well, I've got... I've got healing word. That's about it. Is there a limit to how often you can use it? Oh, I bet it's in the player's handbook. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Well, you use that spell slot already. You only have two usable spell slots. You have to. The only way you're going to get it back is if you take a long rest. Oh well, we can't. So you've used your spell. You used all your spells. Okay. Um, does anybody else? Can anybody else heal? Yeah, I can. I can. Huzzah! Can I heal myself? Can you heal yourself? Am I allowed to heal myself? That if works. you have if you have access to the spell. I do, I do, I do. Okay, it says healing word, one creature, not undead construct, heals one D four plus five each. So one D four plus one D four plus Yeah. Oh, we go one D four plus five. Three. Three. Three plus five, you get eight back. Sweet. Huzzah! She lives! I'm alive. So basically you actually <laughs> see <laughs> that he, you actually see that, that <gasps> just kinda we have brownies. Oh. It just kind of folds back together. Yeah. What did you we say s- that I got back from that eight hit points? You rolled a. You rolled a three. Three uh-huh. plus eight. Eight. Okay. So yeah. you're at full. You're at full hit points again. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I'm alive. I still have my three I'm uses of boy. healing hands. Which they're probably gonna. Oh need no! That. Five hit points. Ooh. 
Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're a work in progress. I'd never made these before. I bet. But man, they sounded good. I saw the rest mm. was like, oh, mm. fuck. <laughs> Everybody had a hand in making these. Hold on, I have to choke on water. Wait, is that a brownie? It's my brownie, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I want a brownie. Did, Did you, you get lunch? Some soup yet? Soup. Gotta eat some soup first. Do you want me to get you some soup? Yeah. Yes, please. Yes, please. Excuse me. Why don't you ask if others would like to eat, please? Thank you. So obviously I go and retrieve my axe out of mm -hmm. the rat. Because I take it we're not in initiative anymore? No. Is there anything else you guys want to do on this level? Um, is there anything nearby of, like, interest? Like, yeah, writing in or creepy shit? Roll wisdom check. All of us? Mm-hmm. If you all are searching, roll a wisdom check. Okay, you. Seven. Four. Seven Matt. plus roll, minus. Roll for me, Matt. I'm not rolling for you. You have to roll for yourself. Well, what do you wisdom want? minus one, so I got a six. Okay, what did you get? Four. Plus what? Uh, nothing. Okay, you got to roll. I, I'm feeding children. Get yourself a fork, please. Does anyone else want soup? I know. I can't Very roll. Him. I can't Sam, roll what are you? you uh, I, uh, we're not soup. offering sandwiches, miss. What? Soup. No. Okay, soup. No, thank you. Okay, it's yeah, soup what? or nothing. Soup or death. Death or soup. It's really good. It's not spicy. It's not going to, like, burn your ear holes. I can it might if you put it in your ear holes. What? what? Why are you... Grab a fork? Um, where's the spoon, Google? What? There's no spoon in there. Did you look oh, in the dishwasher? Look in the dishwasher. So anyways... I have to roll, so... Unless Matt wants to roll for me, I or can't someone roll for wants you. to roll. I don't roll. I will not touch your dice. Then roll your own fucking dice. Come on, man. I guess no one's Just the do. one child. Nope. That's, Jack, that's how it is in my house. Jack likes my cooking. Matt eats my soup, because... I, I don't know. Why do you eat my soup? Because you actually like it? Mm-hmm. Everyone else is like, Ew, it's soup. Mom needs soup. It looks gross. Oh, soup. Soup. Yeah, you can delicious. sit right here. I want to sit by mommy. Nobody, please just sit right That's, there's here. There's no place for Ness to walk through if you sit right there. Mm. <clears throat> you Go. say? You say thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Roll your 20 side. Your wisdom check. You had 11, 11 plus what? Well, it doesn't matter. Well, fine. I already know what, I know, I know what the DC is. <laughs> My wisdom is so, three. Unfortunately, the only person that notices anything... Mm. Vanessa. What? Um, you're looking around this flat area. There's, You see humanoid footprints. Boots from boots. Mm -hmm. um, some goblin tracks as well. Um, Jupiter, fuck! <laughs> Jack, get back here. You don't need to see. Come back Stop. here. I want to see what happened. They don't have to police everybody so much. <clears throat> okay. So I do have divine sense that uh, this will tell me the presence of a strong evil registers on your senses like a noxious odor, powerful good rings like mm -hmm. powerful good rings like heavenly music in your ears. As an action, you can open your awareness to detect such forces till the end of your next turn. You know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet of you that is not behind total cover. You know the type, celestial fiend or undead of any being whose presence you sense. Okay. Does that seem like it would be... Are you going to use that right now? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out if it's a good time to use it since we're now... Uh, I'm thinking we're kind of at the mouth of this cave, right? For the most part, yeah. 
And I have... Well, maybe I'm going to sense that. Or save that. Uh, I can use it three times until I get a long rest. But So you see the rodent tracks? Um, all, a lot of the footprints lead down the stairs. Okay, I'm looking at footprints. Yeah. Uh, boots. Boots. Feet. Feet. Yeah. Animal. Rats. Or rat. Which Bruce. you can tell. Um, as you're looking around in the rubble, you see an old ring of stones. It's It contains the accumulated ashes of hundreds of fires. It's been used and reused over and over again. There's... Though no fire has been lit here for a few years, if you, when you sift through the ash, you find a few rough-hewn spear tips, and these most like these um, most likely goblin. They're ru- They're just rough. They're most likely go- goblin spear tips, okay. and small animal bones, like somebody was eaten here. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you guys are going to continue down the stairs, let me know. Hey, Lucy, and you good? I'm good. Let's Baron? do it. Yeah, let's go. Shoot, you want to, y'all want to, do you guys want to head down? Yes. The stairway is only five foot wide. Okay. Is it, like it's five do I need a torch or is it still well lit? It is getting dark, yes. Hey, Baron, you want to bust out a, a torch? I can see the arch is fine. I don't know. Okay, but I can't. Okay, yeah, I, but I, I <laughs> light a torch. Okay. So With what? Who's leading the way? Like what? It, torch lighting stuff. Um, Wait, what if you light the torch with Ness's dragon breath? Don't worry about it. I have acid yeah, I'll, breath. Yeah, I'll lead the way. Oh, no, not fire breath. So I thought you had fire breath, yeah. too. Where no. are you, Lucian? In the middle. In the middle? Okay. Okay, I'll bring up the rear. I've got my... Shield brought up. Because you have the torch, right? Mm-hmm. Camera so. up the ready. Okay. I'm in the middle. She's in the oh, front with the dark vision. She's in the back with the torch. Then. The fortress emerges from the darkness. The subterranean citadel, though impressive, seems long forgotten. If the lightless windows crack, what? I'm not touching your. Ah! I can get your dice. A fortress emerges from the darkness. <gasps> the, syrup is a t- the subterranean citadel, though impressive, seems long forgotten. If lightless windows, if the lightless windows cracked, I don't know, crenellations? Yeah, crenellations. Yeah, crenellations. What's the crenellations? Just, like, uh, it's, folds um, and bits, like the wrinkles and stuff. Oh, okay. uh, and leaving ta- And leaning towers are any indication. All is quiet, though a cold breeze blows up from below, bringing with it the scent of dust and a faint uh, and a faint trace of rot. <gasps> Feel like home. <laughs> my my nose wrinkles shut. Ugh. What you don't like the smell of rot? Not specifically, no. Mm. Mm. But you me. continue way, you continue the way your way down. You can reach a um, a crumbled courtyard. Obviously, it was a courtyard. Um, the stones courtyard? were they were decorated. An at one open, point. Area. open area. The narrow stairs empty into a small courtyard. Apparently, the top of what was once the crenellated battlements. The buried citadel has sunk far into the earth. That the battlement is now level with the surrounding floor. The floor is stretches away to the north and the south, composed of a layer of treacherous, crumbled masonry. Which reaches to an unknown path, excuse me, unknown depth. To the west looms the surviving structure of what was, of what must be the Sunless Citadel. A tower stands on the west side of the courtyard. So you're standing in this courtyard. Um, what are you guys doing? No, this is a courtyard that's kind of inside this cave, or is it yeah. open? Okay. Are there any torches on the walls already? Like, no, nothing no, to light the way. Nothing to that we can't light. And, stuff. and I am going to put you guys, since you are in the front, you are. Let's see, put you here. Put you here. You're all. Actually, you want to come down first, right? Yeah. So we'll do that. Okay. 
So it's in this crumbly fortress, there's rubble all over the place. You, if you kind of move your foot aside with the dirt on the side, you can see that the, the, the flagstones were once decorated mm -hmm. of some sort. But other than that, it's really bad. It's really battered and a lot of garbage as far as stonework and stuff. What are you doing? There's a door that's right about here. Mm -hmm. Where's my door? I need a door. Did you bring your doors? I think I brought my doors. I didn't grab your doors. I thought I you grabbed your doors. I love you. I love you. Show me your name. Hello. I love you. Show me your name. I see a door. I see a door too. That's a good album though. Mm -hmm. We'll use this door for right now. It's too bad Jim Morrison was such a bumbling drunk. He had an interesting Among other mind. things. Was he also a womanizer? I mean, they all are. There. We'll call it that way. That's Men's Eric and right him there. were both womanizers. And then Men's Eric got with that one lady. Uh -huh. But, so, uh, alright. Hark, hark, Can I a door. gain anything from my dwarven. Uh, uh, you know, sense of masonry and, and rock and, and all that to, to see if there's any important information I can beam huh? off of this this room. I only took a couple bites. What the hell? What? What? I was asking if there's anything I can, if I can recognize anything with the stone and, and the huh? cobblestone masonry. Just to know more about this this courtyard or the citadel, the the structure of it. Nothing per se. It's all it's it's, it's so arc. aged and just ruined. Um, you're not sure if it was dwarven make. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't have the big sharp edges that you would typically see, say like in the, you know the dwarven things of the uh, the uh, in Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't see anything like that. Um, He's very sad. <laughs> <laughs> on your way okay well let's just go and open this ominous looking door <laughs> oh god okay um who's going up to the door okay and the door swings out towards us maybe it's just the door it'll swing either way oh okay i'm not even gonna put that well, much effort in okay it. i'm gonna go into the to the door and i'm going so to we're gonna go one two all right. Yep. I want you to roll two twenties. Six and three, so nine. nine. Give me pluses. Oh, what what is nine. it for? What am I <laughs> throwing here? Matt <laughs> almost put his check. butt in Jack's <laughs> face. Oh my god. <laughs> We don't want we don't want dexterity. Uh, strength would be better. Yeah, it is a dexterity check. Okay, so that's seven. To open the door. Well, the first one was what? what Six. Was the first? So, what's your dex? Minus one. Minus one. So that was a five. Yeah. And the next one is much lower. Okay. Three. He walks over here, and he disappears. Oh, what oh. the hell! You see, you see this big slab just kind of go whoosh. And it starts to slowly close. Oh, it's so I fell through doorway. the floor. <laughs> yeah. It's a secret passageway. Is anybody <laughs> doing anything? Uh, I'm, I'm leaping forward to try to grab him, to s or follow him, or something, because what the fuck? You're going to jump down there with him? Yes. All right, she immediately jumps down with you, okay? Because, ah! Hold on. <laughs> like, ah! Is this the goddamn pit trap? Mm. Okay, you both you both tumble down into a pit and it lands into just debris, garbage. Um, you find an old skeletal body down there. Mm. Um, Can I take a tooth? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Can I take a tooth from the from the skeleton? Does the skeleton come to life? Ten percent here. Unicorn! It starts screaming. <laughs> begging me for wine. Seventy. And then you fell. Okay. So this pit closes on them. 
Mm -hmm. And you're left standing up there by yourself. <laughs> you guys notice there's no place to go down here. Shaking your head at our stupidity. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Why'd you jump down here after me? <laughs> because I was concerned. I can't pull you both up. I know. You can't pull pull Dragon Boy out. So is, is there anything I can see while inside the pit? Do you have hops? You see a lot of garbage. <laughs> garbage. See, um, and I mean like garbage, just old, warm weapons. Refuse. Uh, rocks. Rotted vegetation. Then how deep is this pit? <laughs> it's about a ten foot drop. Is there like smashed drop. carved mm -hmm. pumpkins in there? Um, no. As you're looking around, as you're looking around, the pit contains two goblin skeletons. One goblin that has been dead for about a day, and one live giant rat. Oh. The rat, Ooh. which slipped into the pit to feed on the fresh goblin, was caught when the trap reset um, and it begins to attack you. Awesome. Okay. Like, like, you shield at the ready. Initiative. <laughs> I rolled an 11. Plus what? And my, initi my initiative is minus one. Minus I rolled one. So, so 10. You rolled what? Three. Is... So I go first. Zero. <laughs> so nope. The rat goes first. Oh, the rat goes first. And since it sees you, it's going to attack you. Awesome. Because you're shorty. What's your AC? Uh, 14. Well, it jumps up at you, you bring your shield up, and it hits the shield and falls down. <laughs> okay. Like, meh. Like, ah, um, bam. It's going to be your turn. Take my war hammer, and I smash it. That's a three. <laughs> <laughs> you miss because of the darkness Good of the room, shorty. you miss. You just miss. <laughs> um, what are Good you doing? Good thing, Shorty. Um, it's dark in here. I have you a mace. Can't see anything. Um, but I have a. I have <laughs> my torch. Oh, yeah, that's right. You are carrying the did torch. Did you? Did you drop the torch? Let's see here. I don't know. Did I drop the torch? Stop. No, you didn't. It's down there. It's burning. It's burning some of the debris. Okay. It's down there with you, but it's burning some of the debris with you. In there. So the smoke is kind of rising up a little bit. Awesome! <laughs> right, you're gonna get some... Um, so you can see. I can smoke. see. I'm attacking with my mace. Because, right, holy attack. shit, big ass thing. Big rat. Five plus what? Five plus 1d6 plus one. No, five plus three oh. is... Eight. Which missed. Okay. Wait, so the you... rack still focused on you. Okay. Rolls a 19. Oof. Just, That's a hit. Okay, hey Ness, are you just going like, ow, with your mace? You take seven points of damage. No. Is it latches onto your leg? How much? Ow, seven points. Yowch. Nerd. Okay, so and that leaves me with It's got five. a good grip on your leg. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, Can Luthien hear us? Take I'm that. watching from the top. No, it's no, closed. Close. You can't hear anything. You can't. Oh. Oh. You're just like, what the fuck? What are you going to do? I'm just up here. Like, uh, oh. uh, I guess I'll try to get through the door while trying to avoid that How particular stone. How do you look for more traps? Hmm? How do I look <laughs> for traps? Yeah, okay, I'm going to start investigating the stones with... What do I have? I get. I draw in. my sword and I start poking the flagstones in front of me. You're rolling in it. All right, you're, you're rolling and... Give me one minute here. Okay. I want to get the proper thing here. <sighs> I'm tired. Me too. Look who's up. Let the men take care of the children. <laughs> hey, Ness, are you the tallest one? Yes, she is. Out of is the party? Yes. 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 I'm the shortest one. Excuse me. Wait, so Basis what is are you? six foot I'm seven. Important. So dwarves are smaller than half elves. So roll an yes. investigation check. Roll in Chelsea. Oh me, sorry. I'm bring you. <laughs> roll Just investigation. Check. Ring bell for service. Did <laughs> <laughs> you roll a d20? <laughs> roll a wisdom check. D20. Yeah. Okay. Eleven. What's your What's your wisdom plus what? Plus zero. Plus zero? <laughs> or perception. I have plus two for perception. 
we're doing a DC wisdom <laughs> of 15 or better. Okay, Percept- or a perception check, yeah. What's your perception? Plus two. So you got, what was it, your total? 13. 13? You still don't see anything. <sighs> but you're looking. Um, he just went. Yeah. Did he hit it? Uh, no, he he took seven damage. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Um, so he's got to roll a damage. Yeah, we're okay. waiting for Barry to come back. <laughs> Jack, you're gonna lay. <laughs> Give yourself with flash, babe. <laughs> Is there anything else you're gonna do? I'm swinging my head like a flail. He waves his hair back and forth. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. I had I it in my head too. He, I have to okay. Him. Um, so I don't find anything. You don't immediately find anything. Though. Okay. Should I attempt the door then? You, how I, are you going to get to the door? I, w- walking. So uh, I'm going to avoid this flagstone. I'm going to go around here. Okay. Ah, uh, because this is the most direct route. So right. That so would if be I the go, most likely place do, to pull a trap. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then you fall in. Like, so that's ah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. And then you open Wait, the door like, in? it's John Cena! <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Wait, what if it's like a meme? Like, open the door. Alright, roll a DC 10. Or, I'm sorry, DC. Roll a. Intelligent check or investigation, whatever's hard. Intelligence. Ooh, investigation. I got lots of investigation. Pow! Ah! Two! Plus four. You fucked yourself there. No, okay. That is a one. I saw it on my face. I got lots. No, I don't. Not right now. Wait, what if? What she if you tripped fall? over and Wait. fell into the trap while trying to investigate. It's not that funny. It's not that funny. Wait, what if? I do want you to roll a dex. I do want you to roll a dex. Thirteen plus what? Saving throws, acrobatics. Okay, so you stealth. got here. You're right there now. But that was only one. I know. <laughs> it's your turn. You, you Okay. You were gonna attack. Right? I take my, my war hammer and I just just swing as right as at this can. thing that's raised on my leg. I doubt one. you could do it. Eight. Plus what? Uh and that's my Where's your Warhammer? Wait, you? Warhammer's plus six. So eight plus six so is fourteen. Alright, you hit. Okay, and then uh, one eight. eight. That's the diamond looking one. Dwarf and smash! Wait, what if he like eight he plus broke, how, plus what? His leg eight like plus four, so twelve. So Damn! You just, as it's lashed on your leg, you just whack, and, and it goes it splat. <laughs> it, it, um, it you definitely kill it. It comes okay. off your leg and hits against the wall, and it's motionless. Wait, what if? What are you doing? Wait, what if he like? You see him running with that healing uh, uh, venom there, <laughs> picking up my like, ah. I pick up my okay. torch go. Dang. <laughs> There's still smoke collecting inside the top of the room from that yeah. burning debris. Um, I don't think there. Wait, I have a spell for that, smoke, and I'm not um, using my acid like breath. On the are, are we still in initiative like, here now? Rain, no, you're out of initiative. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I heal myself here? If you want to heal yourself, divine sense uh, or, or lay of lay of lay, lay on hands. hands. Go ahead and use it. Okay. You're gonna use lay of hands. And how do we use lay? Of it's your de- use the sh- on your spell casting abilities. You should give you a go to your spell casting. It's on one of the other pages. Mm-hmm. The next one. My next one. I'm gone. Oh, so do I not have? I thought I have it oh God, in my awesome. first. It's listed there as a level one. I was just on the page. What's that, your spell? I didn't, oh, I didn't what is your spell? Um, I didn't change the page. Oh, lay on hand. What is your hands? Hey, Mom, go. you still gotta fix you know your arm. What? I know. Can you get a beer? Like, <laughs> oh my God. what? Can, can we read? All right, I'm going to yeah. uh, Your blessed what? touch can heal wounds. You have a pool of healing power that replenishes okay. when you take a long rest. I don't care. With mm-hmm. that pool, you can restore a total number of hit points equal to your paladin level times five. Wounds. When you heal your wounds. <laughs> As an action, you can touch a creature and draw that and draw power from the pool to is restore that number of hit points. Is that your special abilities? As that creature, yeah, your as rate not, as your class, up to yeah, the maximum a amount remaining. Yeah. And you can use it two times a day. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, then that then no, you don't have no divine uses five HP. Was it? Hit point. 
one. Yeah, so five. So I'm good for five hit points times my class, and I'm class one. So okay, I so you immediately five. get back five hit points every time you do lay on hands. Yeah, and it'll probably it'll Does probably it say how many times I can use it. Nope. Ones. Okay, so I'm I'm at ten hit points now. Okay, so you're not you're still hurting, but you're not as bad. Yeah. Let me check something real quick. You killed yourself a rat. Can we eat it? Ew. I've killed two rats. You have? Yes. Hmm. Don't eat the dead rat. Why? They're still edible. Okay, you there is a you are able to There's enough to be able to climb up to the top of the trap door. Okay. But you still need to ha- figure out a way to get it open. Okay, I climb up to the top, and if I knock on, if I pound on it, can roll a strength check for me? Hear me. Okay, got an eight plus four, so it's so twelve. You made, it. you made it. And yeah, I just need a ten okay. or more. So you're holding on. You're gonna bang on it. Yep. I'm roll gonna... a strength check again, because you're banging through stone. Wait. Fourteen. Plus four, so eighteen. Okay. Would you roll your perception check, please? Or a wisdom check, which one ever is better. Uh, eight plus four. Twelve. Yeah. You don't hear anything. I hear nothing. I hear nothing. So the trap was it was a it's a it's pressure a it's trap. a Pit trap, but so it was pressure sensitive or weight sensitive mm-hmm. on the floor. Wait, um, the which widest? means it's got to be on a fulcrum because it's spun, right? No, it it tilted down. Uh huh. Okay. And you and then closed up. So oh, banging on it, it didn't move at all. It didn't. No. Hmm. Are you investigating the trap door? Yeah, well, I'm going to investigate um, the trapdoor. Roll an investigation. An investigation is minus two. Six minus two, so okay. four. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know how. The, you understand the concept of the trap, but you don't know how this trap works. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what are you doing? You said sitting down there while he's holding on to dear life at the top of the pit. <laughs> I'm investigating the refuse to see if there's anything of interest. Wait, you're six foot seven? Yes. I'm standing on her shoulders. <laughs> oh. His shoulders. I'm standing on his shoulders. Well, you've, you've already climbed up the side of oh, the pit. Oh, okay. So. Well, but I could, and I'd still be up there. That would yeah. You're looking at the, uh, you're looking at the, re- through the refuse. You do find a scimitar and a shield, as well as 23 silver pieces and four gold in a belt pouch that once Ooh, belonged to the dead goblin. Oh, or. nice! <laughs> I will bring that with me if you we get out. You don't have a shield, do you? I don't carry a shield, I don't think. No. no. You can now. <laughs> <laughs> so I got... It's a worn, it's yeah. a worn wooden Please. shield. It's nothing... Nothing special. Yeah. A scimitar, you said, and how much gold? A scimitar, 23 silver, 4 gold. 23 silver, 4 G, which I will share. Uh, back to you, Chelsea. Okay, so... Um... I'm going to see if I can trigger that trap because I know where they went down. So I'm mm-hmm. going to see if I can trigger that trap without door without going me down. going down. So I... Roll a wisdom check Hold on a me. second. I'm trying to remember how... So he just landed on that one, right? And then went down? Mm-hmm. He walked okay. on it. He stepped on a, he stepped so, on a certain part in the floor and he disappeared. Okay, so what am I going to attempt to do is just take my sword and see if I can push on it. Roll a wisdom check. Wisdom or perception Investigation. Wisdom or perception, whatever's higher. Okay. Four plus two. You see nothing. No. You should probably like be tossing it in there and see if it bounces. Probably. Roll an intelligent or investigation. Investigation is plus four. Uh, three plus four seven. All right. I rolled seventy-four. Back to you, Mr. Dwarf. What are you doing? (laughs) I'm school, baby. (laughs) What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hanging out here. Because you can't push it up. You can't push it up. Yeah. Is there any... Uh, but it's a smooth <gasps> stone slab. Ooh, I'm going to grab my mason 
tools out of my bag there. And You'll have to climb down because you need yeah. you need something to hold on to. All right. Yeah, I'm going to climb back down. Oh, what is it? What do you got? You can stand on my shoulders, buddy. Okay. Yeah, come over here. Let me stand on your shoulders while I can do this. And I get Hell my yes. three tools. You Base. roll a strength check. <laughs> and, you both roll a, and you both roll a uh, dexterity check. Okay. Strength, 19. plus 9. 19. Nine. That's your dex? Yeah. Okay. What I got 19 plus 1 for strength, and you want me to roll for dexterity? Yeah. Five. You try to climb on her, but you both just kind of fall. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. We can like, try this again. <laughs> Chelsea, you again. Are you still searching? I am still. I'm going to attempt to trigger this trap again. I'm going to try to jump on it and bounce off of it before it Girl. lets me down. Uh, try it. Okay, what am I rolling for? Roll a dex check. Roll for butts. I've got acrobatics in my plus two. Well, rolling a dex check. Okay. Uh, 12 plus 2, 14. You jump on it, nothing happens. Lame. You jump where he fell, nothing happens. Hmm. Jupiter! This is why we need a rogue. <laughs> I will be a rogue. Then what would a rogue do, really, that can... They definitely, he definitely has to search. He's able, he has to be able to use his thieves tools to f somehow work it open properly and jam it. Mm. That's, mm. but there are other ways to set up the trap and hopefully jam it. Oh, uh, oh what no. tools do I have? How hard about can you, is there anything big and heavy up around by you that's equal to about 150 pounds? <laughs> uh, it's a lot of it's, stones. Isn't it an empty stone courtyard? Yeah, yeah, so how about, what if you It's start a lot of broken debris. You're throwing stones up on top of that, that spot. But, but what, if like, I, what if I throw rocks on it and it crushes you? That's what I was thinking. Uh, we can step out. I'm trying to see if I got a spell or something. We're, you don't know where it's coming, though. You get, well, you're still trying to figure out how to get out. So we're on the side that would be going up, as far as the... As far as you can tell. Yeah, as far as we can tell. Can we see anything in the pits that would give us any clue as to doing anything? Can see anything that is falling. We, we haven't gotten into the Sun of the guys. You, you know what? <laughs> haven't gone into Don't the Don't you seven judge seas. us! <laughs> haven't gone into the Seven Seas. No. Oh, man. Go to the Seven Seas. Is it my turn again? Um, yeah, go ahead. Can I roll for you, Mommy? I'm still going to find exactly where the pit is. I am going to... Let's see. He just stepped on it. Can I roll for you, Mommy? <sighs> just a minute. Hey, it's 1.30. Um, we need to consider being done soonish. ish Point 3. I know. <laughs> well, we need to make sure we're packed up, get the kids ready, so that if there's tantrums... 2.30? That's on you, buddy. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can I roll for you, Mama? I, there's no rolling yet. Go tell, go tell everybody they have. It's an hour before they have to leave, please. No, no, that, 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 that's not, that's not do that. Not yet. Okay. That that could trigger something. Roll. Yep. Um, let's try to. Well, um, roll another wisdom check. Okay. Wait, I'll roll for you. I don't know you. what to do. Okay, here. <laughs> Six. Are you using his roll? You can That's roll it for yourself. Okay. Nine. Here, you roll my dice. Okay, let's just do it that way. All right. That's a four. Four plus wisdom at zero. So roll, four. And now roll an in intelligent or investigation. All right, let's go for investigation. I got it. I'm going to do it this time. What is it? One. One? <laughs> <laughs> oh That's why God. I should have rolled And you lost brain cells with that, <laughs> with, with hey. that one. I All rolled more than one. I, just, I, can I feel like I'm in Breath of the Wild where I'm just in the big open world and there's nothing. It's just it's just nothing. <laughs> what are you two doing again? Attempting to stand on my shoulders okay, again. Okay, yeah. So this time I've got uh, my masonry tools out and a, uh, a spike. And so what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to get up there and I'm going to hammer this spike in there. Oh, and I have my rope. Also, and I'm going to tie this rope to the spike that's in the side that can 
come would be able to pull down. Mm-hmm. This is right. totally useless. So, There's nothing good here. I can use to help so you people. So I need to roll. Climb back up there. Climb, climb back, back up. on the shoulders. So dexterity roll to get it back up on can the shoulders. Can you sing right? it open? Yeah. I don't have any of those kind of spells. I can viciously plus, mock the stone. So and that's help nine. Oh, 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 one. I'm going to try What's your strength? Or roll your, roll your strength again. Like, oh my mm. gosh. Wait, what if you just stare at the stone like open? 20! 20! 20. 20. Oh. Oh, roll your deck. You launch him through the stone. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> but you just smash it. <laughs> <laughs> I it up in my helmet. <laughs> Get stuck in the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> 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 As I was saying, <laughs> you pick him off without a problem. You throw him on your shoulders. You hit your head, <laughs> and you can't keep him up there. And you both fall down. <laughs> Wait, is he is he just hanging from the ceiling? Like, okay, happening. can I have Woo! heard that since it was such a loud Roll sound? <laughs> Wait, is that why? Give one? us back our dice tray, please. Oh, God. Yeah, come on, dude. You gotta. Hey, sh- don't don't stop mo- stop criticizing him. It's okay. Wait, is that why there's a crack? Ten of the plus <laughs> perception. He said. Yeah. Yes. Twelve. Well. <laughs> Damn. This is lame. These oh. rolls, man. These rolls. Uh, Matt's eh. dying on the inside. Okay. <laughs> We're all dying on the inside. It's the slowest um, game ever. Do that with a, a, your investigation. Investigation. Yeah. Investigation. <laughs> Shit. Whoa. Uh, geez, a nine. A nine plus you four. You broke the table like <laughs> 13. <laughs> All right. You kind of see where some of the dirt around is falling away. Okay. And you hear a loud... Okay. Okay. So I know they're down there. <laughs> see, the, see the stone coming. Are you communicating? Right, right, a little bit of dust fly up off the ground. So hold on. I need to read about this spell that like, I have real quick to see like, if it's... Not one useful. for yes, two for no. So... <laughs> I can't know how many more times now. I can knock. Like, <laughs> we got a little bit of headache. Like, You're lying on your ass again. And she's staring down at you like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Uh-huh. God. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what? <laughs> and you're like... How do you roll a natural 20 and then a critical failure? <laughs> Very carefully. It's that, weight, it's that off-weighted dice. <laughs> oh my god. Do you remember when we played that game with Zoe and I rolled three fucking ones in a roll? In a row, I should say. You were like, what the hell? How do you do this? What is your freaking problem? The okay. pole ranger. So, while she's trying to figure out what she wants to do, or do you know what you want to do? Well, I guess I'm going to get down on my belly and I'm going to start investigating all the cracks around the tile. Roll Seems like what? A investigation show. Investigation. Oh. <laughs> Kiss my hand, Jackie. <laughs> Give it a good roll because you're going to need it. One. <laughs> and you fall into the trap. Truthfully crack. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? you saw du- dirt within the cracks. Uh-huh. You can't find them now. Okay. <laughs> You just you're like, what am I looking? For? But no, you know your friends are. In, you know your friends are. In I the know pit. they're there. What? Did you eat lunch? You, you didn't eat any soup. Then you can't have bread. Can I have some bread? Did you eat you the had soup? Bread. You yes, had you bread. Oh yeah. I gave you okay, bread, man. <laughs> so meanwhile, you're looking for cracks. You know you saw it earlier, but you can't find it. Mm-hmm. Um, the two of you. I'd much I'm like to get into the Sun of Citadel that. before we end today. Fair yes, well, that would be great. Maybe me having you on my shoulders um, isn't a great idea. What What would you like to do, Betty? Let me see. Does my divine sense... Your divine sense is senseless and useless. What are you doing while he's looking it up? Uh, if I use Entangle, can I get the roots to pull yeah. the stone look, away? Look, look. Don't look at me like that. Do you want to cast Entangle? Get, get us all tangled up down there. <laughs> Can I focus and tangle up instead of having it come out of the ground? For a player advice, mm-hmm. look at the range. Yeah. You're in a 10 no, wait, by, you 10 by 10 foot hole. Yeah. Not until you eat soup. Okay. Mm-hmm. Look at the range at, 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 at the entanglement. If you have to look it up on your player's manual, then do so. The range is 90 feet. It's a 20 foot square. Area becomes difficult to range, so that probably wouldn't be a good idea. You are gonna be, you're gonna be in the mess of that. 
and it could be very bad. You're right. That would suck. <laughs> Druidcraft. Create one harmless sensory nature effect. <laughs> Make a flower blossom. I need an adult. I really want to play. I don't think I can make a flower yeah, blossom enough to crack stone. That. No one I'm said starting to about... figure out the way the flow of play weight works. No one, play no one said anything about cracking stone. That's what Bathus and I are thinking. What are you thinking? Ba I'm a DM. Who's I can only help so much. <laughs> Who's Bathus? I basically stopped you from strangling yourselves. <laughs> this yeah. is true. I, I... Well, while they're bumbling... I would like to start investigating the entire courtyard systematically in roll, a grid pattern. Roll your investigation. Ugh, come on. Give me something good. 16 plus oh. 4. I'm investigating. <laughs> like, I have a 20, goddammit. Let me find something good. He did good. it. <laughs> All right, so you knuckles. know around mm -hmm. the far edge, the edge closest to me, mm -hmm. there's a catwalk type thing. Okay. You're able to discern it. You're not going to fall going around that side. Okay. You're also able to figure out that depending where you step, the pit, which actually covers a large area, flips and then closes. But you have to step on it. I have to find the steppy button. Yeah. Okay. So But I... then you also know that it's when it, fl when it flips by, it's locked into place. Wait. Hey, how about... So I have to figure out how to put half weight on it so it stays open? Stays mm -hmm. open, but okay. you also know, you know by doing the investigating weight. that it's going to close. Wait, okay, oh. so... It's going to close again. You'd end up having to start all over again. So being able to find a rock or something, is there... Wait, what what do you, you mean start all over again? Head. So I get up to the catwalk and I'm, I'm trying to work out the pattern if or something? You, if you get it to open again, it's okay. going to close again. Immediately. It'll reset again. <clears throat> okay. Like, oh. Mm. So whatever you're trying to do to open a trap, you need to you need to find a I way to fix it. need to wedge it open. Yes. Okay. What am I carrying with me? Did we, is it, are there any loose stones about the place? Can I look for there's loose stones? Grass. Well, yeah, there's large stones. It's rubble. Okay. It's a rubble-filled courtyard. So, okay, I'm going to go up on the catwalk. Uh, first, I'm going to find a rock. What's a catwalk? A big rock. So basically, your catwalk runs from here all the way around to where the door is. Okay, okay, so... Everything else could potentially dump you into the pit. Okay, so I'd find a path. Okay, so... Uh, That's I find the safest a, place to walk. I want to find a large rock, mm -hmm. and then I'm going Wait, to... Wait, what if you just use that rock? Huh? This rock. That's, oh, let's get rid of those rats. Those are rats. Oh. So I'm going to walk around here, find a large rock, and walk around here, and... I'm so, so say it again. So I have to find the proper place to step right here to open the trap. Is that what you no, said? No, that's I found? that's the safest place to walk. Oh, okay. Wait, what if you triggering just look the at trap that? is what you have to do. Okay. Now, if you are able to find a some type of mechanism and you have yeah, to yeah. really good to trigger the trap without being on it. Wait, what if you just okay. like, go like? No, I can't do that. So I'm gonna walk along the catwalk and I'm gonna look for a mechanism or a switch or a. Some, th some little thing that I might have missed. It's gonna be alright. A bad thing. Oh. Do, 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 do. Well, maybe I should try to go through the door if I found a place to walk. Hey, why is your camera there? Because she's recording the stuff so we can remember. Alright. Oh. What? I just found an easy way to open it, but nobody's actually looking for it. Okay, traps. No, you guys do not need to be on there. No, you get no. Just stop it. Where is it? Uh, it's around somewhere. No, they have it in their hands. Oh, hey, bring it to me, please. I told them to ask you. No, they don't need to do that. What are you guys doing? I'm tired of them speaking it into their rooms. Um. <clears throat> All right, well, I climb up again with my masonry tools, and I'm going to no, try to, thank you. Try to like, just hammer right into the stone and try to get it to do something, right? 
Roll uh, your profession check, you think? Profession check. Because you're a, you're a stonesmith, right? Well, I I'm a dwarf okay? who does have uh, I think I have proficiency with. Mm-hmm. Just roll a d20. Ten. And what would my modifier be? Um, it's probably going to be an intelligence thing or a wisdom thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so <laughs> wisdom, which is negative one, so that's nine. Yeah. You can't hold yourself up there. And no, it's going to give you the, the yeast. She likes the yeast. Why can't you just let her live her life? <laughs> Do you bread? No, I don't give her anymore. She's already had it. Okay. Bread. Huh? Bread. You doing? Eating bread? Bread. <laughs> Where'd you find bread in the She's not going to DM for us anymore. <laughs> She's going to give up, and we're going to have bread. to do it ourselves. Bread. She's going to get sick of us. Bread. Did you see his face? <laughs> what are you doing? Do you want a piece you didn't. You need to eat some soup first. All right, I'll get you some. Um, what is he doing? He's trying. It didn't work. I tried chiseling my masonry tools you can't into the. Climb up there and chisel at the same time. What is a chisel? Um, Can I have some bread with my soup? Eat your soup first, then you can have the bread. Why? Okay. Because it's something to do. No, don't hold no why can't you? I wasn't smart enough. <laughs> You're dumb. But, uh, he's trying to chisel. He's got something to hold on a chisel, something to hold on a hammer. How's he gonna stand? How's he gonna hold up there? Can't I just like stand like this and you can stand like on my back? And you wanna try that again? You wanna do that again? Cause I don't see Why it not? the other way. So my dexterity. It's a two. So you can't even climb up there. <laughs> the problem we're having here today. What do you want to do? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try to get through that door I again. Don't even I'm going to try roll. to get through the door and see if there's a, something behind the door. Can I take I the catwalk We're splitting up around to the door. Even more. Hmm. I can roll for you, Mom. I'm going to do it, okay? I love bread. Bread. Who doesn't? It's delicious. Bread. Bread, bread, bread. Bread, bread, bread. Bread, 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 bread. Jack, you are quickly dipping into the land of obnoxious. Oh no, you can't use an unfinished tile. Well, you fine. Picture that. What if it's just a land of happiness? In the. The Chelsea is body. It's not usually a land of happiness. (laughs) Where's your body? Land of doom. My bodies are in your well, terrain box. Let the bodies falls. hit the floor. Let the bodies then hit the floor. It, then Let it the bodies hit the floor. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> All right. Well, like, uh, you make your way around the trap box. Around the. You make your way over to the. These unpainted bodies. Yeah, sorry. And those are going to be four I'm just gonna dead paint them goblins. Black. Four dead goblins? Yes! You killed my brother and... But did I get through the door? Yeah, you opened the door just fine. Okay. Oh, right, because I got the catwalk. Yeah. On the catwalk. So, do I go over been in my head this whole time. time. Four you dead first. goblins. You the killed door is my still brother open, and... so right here. Okay. I'll, yeah. Let me read you what is going on in that room. Daddy, I'm getting hungry. There's soup Eat over soup. there. Soup. Do you want me to serve you? No. You can do it. You're big. Look you. how large you are. Go look. Lord. I'm not very large. I'm not Bulls large, large enough to get yourself some soup, woman. I'm not hey, if they're wobbling. If I was this helpless when I was a child, I would have starved to death. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't don't distract the yourself circular, with the dog. Eat. The circular area is cobbled with cracked granite, upon which sprawl the bodies of four goblins, apparently <laughs> slain in combat. Red. One corpse stands in the back against the western wall. The spear that kill it still skewering and holding him upright. Three wooden doors leave, leave from this area. A hollow tower of loose masonry reaches 30 feet into the air. But the intervening floors and stairs are gone, except for a couple of crumbled ledges. Hmm. So pick a door, any door, eh? Pick a door, any door. 
spoons are in the dishwasher. Yep, sure bin. is. I don't see anything. Uh, I don't see any. Uh, should I investigate the room that I'm in? Let me investigate the area around the door on this side. See if I can find a mechanism. Roll an investigation check. Um, investigation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> only a three. Well, it's... plus four is seven. You don't. Find, you don't find anything. What are you two doing? It doesn't. Huh? What are, you, what are the other two people doing? <laughs> We're playing cards at this point. <laughs> playing circus music in our heads. I'm Suffocating. <laughs> I am reading. I'm putting out the... F- have, have we put out the fires at all? Jack. Yeah, we can put out the torch because I can see just fine. Down there. Well, I mean, there's fi- there's there were little fires Small bread. in the refuge pit. She dropped the torch. Oh. Don't let it, let it yeah, yeah, we we stomp we stomp those out right away. I'd say. Oh, yeah. He's a small piece of bread. <laughs> what are you guys doing in this room? I am looking to see what options I do have. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's see. You did an investigation of the room. You kind of searched the room before. She pretty well. The on the floor. Yeah. Oh, okay. I want to search around the room, look for uh, something to roll an investigation check. Okay. Eight plus minus. You. Yeah. You see a black ball. You see several black. Four black walls around you. Mm-hmm. Why are they black? Well, it's dark. I see everything in black and gray tones. Do you? Or are you? It's a black from. I have dark vision. Oh. Ash. It's dirt. It's dirt. It's dirt. It's, dirt. it's, it's been here for a long time. <laughs> I'm a genius person, like dirt. Do you want to investigate the room? <laughs> Look around the room. Yes, like, I will investigate. Roll your twenty. Jesus Christ! I will roll. Does dirt want to look around the room? I got a 19. <laughs> Plus anything? You're, feel, you're searching around a room, and you feel something, this little like a hole, hole, and you can feel something back behind Like a catch? You. Something. Can I stick my hand in it? It's hard because you, your hands are pretty big. Baron, put your hand in this yeah. hole. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what happened when they did that in Indiana Jones? No. <laughs> Baron, do it. <laughs> it's right here. Okay, Look, so go. I come up. It's a little hand hold in there, huh? Yeah, yeah. it's well, kind of like a backwards hand hold. You know, you see, you're going like this, but mm-hmm. it's like this. And you can feel something smooth and hard behind the brick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is it? You can almost, uh, you, can, you can barely, you can barely grab it. Chelsea, I can't. Can I, in, I can't do it. This one, <laughs> one this, this, this piece. It's what? See if I you can, can, what? can <laughs> see if it's like a it's trap a or anything's gonna happen. A butthole? No, Jack, it's not a butthole. <laughs> Twelve. If you take you take off your glove, you try to reach back. Okay. You can tell, but there's metal back there. Okay. Whatever you can touch <laughs> is metal. Okay. But it's completely obstructed from view. All you see is this basically this little hole in the mortar about this big. Mm-hmm. Um, if you roll an intelligence check. Are you very intelligent? No, I'm not. Five. I'm not okay. sorry, but... You can't tell anything of the, of the stone work itself. Okay, but you do feel this thing back there. It almost feels like a ball. Alright, well, I'm gonna fiddle around with it, then I'm gonna pull on it and try to move it and whatever. You reach back there, and you pull it down, and you hear a click. And the thing goes... Oh, okay. So now the floor tilts. I've unlocked. And it locks. And it, as soon as it goes back, it locks back. Okay. And this floor, I imagine, comes down about five feet. Yeah, about kind of okay. like this. So I'd say about half the distance. So yeah. it's enough for you to slide down in there. Rule the dragon uh, born is tall enough that he could yes. grab it and kind of potential. Okay. Okay. I so I didn't hear shit. I found the the release mechanism. Woo-hoo! Huzzah! We did it. <laughs> and you see that you see it when he does it. You hear you hear a click from behind the wall, but it goes all the way down, about half open, and then it closes again and clicks again. Okay. So, is there a way we can wedge it so that it stays open so we can get up? What are you gonna wedge it with? <laughs> a skull. You're gonna try to do the skull? <laughs> yeah, pro- no. Probably some stone or something. Or, or uh. What if, what if you just? Wasn't there a? 
Let him you find a your saber? I found a scimitar. Use your helmet. Jack, I found the helmet. Use your helmet. Oh. Well, we need something hard. And that and your helmet's made right out of metal. Use it. But he needs so, to burn his hand. Now, does this floor? Is there when it comes down there, like the it walls on the side of it? Okay. <laughs> All right. So I think we should. Do you really want that scimitar, or are we going to use that to? Oh no! Here. Okay. Catch. Yeah. Let's no. let's use this <laughs> scimitar to no, to wedge it open. No. Uh, when it comes down. No. Okay. So you you cook it open. It will... Yeah, tilt down the way you did. Which, how are you gonna wedge it? What, how are you gonna wedge it? Which side? Uh, we're gonna wedge it. Which side that so, comes up? Which side am I on? You would be on the side that it lowers down. It lowers down. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we're it's gonna lower down, and we're gonna wedge it right into the side on the side that's lowering down. On the side that's lowering down. Yeah. To hopefully get it to bind. Up. So you're basically gonna. How are you gonna wedge? How are you gonna wedge it though? Uh, are you on, on the side between the wall and the twice a month for a and the um. So you're basically gonna try it, okay? Like that. You're basically gonna try and. So really, I think the dragon form, being much taller than I am, can actually reach right up there and, and you, you get it from the. Pad. Jam it into the side. No, no, in between the, the sides, the seam of, of the wall and the, the floor coming down. Okay, I understand. So that would be a you to do. Yes, I need the I need some height. I didn't. What? Please hold. Wait, is it gold? Please hold. Sorry, we were doing a couple first. Yeah. Uh, she tells me to stand on your shoulders. Do you need my shoulders? No, I just need you. I'm gonna click this and re- and release it when. The floor comes down, I need you to jam the scimitar right in between the, the wall and the, the side of the floor so it keeps it from coming back up. He is standing with his scimitar at the ready. I'm ready. Okay. Wait, what's a scimitar? So you do it, you stick your scimitar up there, yep. and the pick closes. What? Oh. What's and the blade is caught between the stones, and it's stuck there. You can see the handle, but the blade is protruding from the floor. Oh, because that's... <laughs> so now you have a scimitar basically stuck in the ceiling. What's a scimitar? But, as you think about it, somewhere on the outside there's a blade sticking out of the floor. Yeah. Wait, what if mom just... Look, Mom's in a different room. I know, but what if she walked out For whatever of it reason. All right, it so I see That's a the... sword. Okay. I see the blade sticking out of the floor and no, I... No, you're in the other room. No, I'm in the other room, Art. Investigating. Okay. All right, so... Yeah, while you're in there, you can hear a... Can I hear sounds? You hear a thunk. This is a scimitar? Yeah. Okay, and I have like a confirmed... Like a so, I open the door again, oh. hoping my friends are outside waiting There's to come nobody in. nobody out. Nobody out there. You see the blade of an old rusty sword sticking out of the... Out of the, uh... Like, between the cracks of the cobblestones. Okay. Um... Can she hear us hollering? It's just, I don't have any useful ideas for this situation. I'm not sure break, it, break the sword off. <laughs> I, I don't know if that would do any good. Kick! Like, break. Like, that's what happened. Can I just keep pulling on this thing? <laughs> if you if you pull on it again, the sword falls away. So, is your is your standing there trying to decide what you do with the sword? The floor? Creaks open, mm-hmm. the sword falls away, and it closes. Yeah. So I was I was wanting okay. the, the the hilt would have been really on top of how I was describing because she as it comes down. Oh, well, she was holding it would, up like yeah. Yeah. So, okay. But. I stare at the tile confusedly, <laughs> <laughs> not sure what to do, for I am still not finding any mechanical switch. Or anything to assist in the matter. Because I'm assuming that probably what has to happen is you have to step on the very middle of the tile, and I'm not doing that. Oh, what if you just... What like, do you suggest? Bang. So, we need... I'm just going to keep pulling on this thing, as it's just going to keep teeter-tottering. It'll, yeah, and and do, that, do, it'll do, do just what that. Is okay. So you can at least kind of so, go back and forth every time so, it's open. It, it, okay, as it... Opens. I found the switch. <laughs> it, it, it time this just gives, right it and gives you about okay. three or four seconds before. It okay. So f- next time I open it, 
drop a stone down, it'll roll down, and as it comes back up, the stone will jam it against the other wall, and we'll have it stuck open, hopefully. Okay, I look around for a large stone. Easily found. And I lift it up, and I wait for the thing to open, and when it, it open opens, up, I lob throw it. Down it. There? I lob it. So you lob it down Does there? Does it work? Roll, roll, let it roll down the... Yeah, I, I, yeah I, 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 I lob it down on the edge <laughs> so it rolls down. <laughs> All right. I've knocked you unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, ro- the stone hits the thing and it rolls down there and it's coming right back up. It catches between the floor and the wall and it just sits there. But on that side, it doesn't give you any way out. Lame. On okay. that side. So I take it on the other side that's up. Is it It's open? probably about this high up. So I need to ground. aim for the other side, okay, you're saying? Well, so there's a gap now. Can he fit? Okay, can we find larger stones or anything around that we can j- shove you on the other side? You see smoke rising up from the empty hole. <laughs> oh, it's oxygen. dead people! Whew. I thought we stopped oh, all wait, those Oh wait, do fires. I have any water You did, but there's still smoke in there. Mm. Daddy, it's dead people! Yes, we know. Yes. Go play. Dead people. Indeed. Oh no, I think it stopped recording. It said this is boring. Oh!